Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. I think I'm about ready to get started. Let's chat a little bit. I ended up doing a little bit of updating on the section guide while I was uh, waiting for the plumber to finish. Fortunately, that issue is resolved, so now we're here. So we're going to go ahead and jump into PSO in just a second. We'll see who's around. I might as well do some bronze badge gambling to get rid of some badges while I wait. And let me know if you would like to play some runs today. We'll get started, I think, formally in runs in a couple minutes. If you want to do TTFs, RTs, anniversary quests, floor is open, I suppose. See if anybody is in block two today that I recognize. Oh. See Marco in the lobby. So I'll do some quick gambles. If there's anybody that wants to do hunts, let me know. Brain is like, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. How many bronze badges does this character have offhand? He doesn't have any in his inventory. Huh. I think like one of the only characters without them, apparently. We'll do some bronze badge gambles, and then maybe we'll do some uh, quick runs of some sort. Let's see how far we go with just nine today. Because if I have to go solo, I have some things in mind. Also, this is not the... Nope, 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 nope. Oh, does that automatically end? Oh no, I'm just getting unlucky. I'm looking for the gambler. Are you the gambler? The other guy's the badge trader. Hmm. Immediately get a bot. Thank you, uh, Twitch. I actually don't know where the gambler is. Because these three are here, and that's for the bronze, silver, and gold. You're the trade up shop. You the person I'm looking for? I don't think I've ever done the gambling before. Oh, these are for the, the joke weapons. Yeah, no, thank you. Go to the nurse. Kaiser says, Heaven Striker and Red Ring you're really looking for. We'll probably do those today. Thank you, Dem. I'm like, I don't think I've ever tried gambling before. I, don't, I did not do that last year. I'm 100% convinced. Oof. Talk about bad items. Let's just get rid of them real quick. Mmm. Nothing but trash. Mmm. I need those antidotes on the rock house chat. It's very important. Wow, that was quick. Rip all those items. Literally garbage. Oh, uh, well, I guess if people are looking around, we could do some... 502. Yeah, that's gonna require some tower carries. I could potentially bring in a void ID for it. Bring in a force potentially for that. I don't want to do like a ton of V502. I'm not a big fan of tower, but if we have a full party, I'll do it. Kind of like one of those ones where I'm like, uh, I'll begrudgingly do a few because we haven't technically done those. I 
Like, I still think Sweep Up Operation 9 is better, but technically we could add to Tower and compare. Technically. I don't think I quite want my raw moral to go there yet. I think she still needs a couple levels. Let's see, we got two people so far. Anybody that would like to hop in? We're gonna try some anniversary and then we'll compare it to sweep up nine. Parameters logging in, nice, nice. I was gonna say, this character is completely loaded and ready for this difficulty. I don't think I took off anything from them last time. And just to verify. Yeah. Probably remove his adepts after I'm done if I want to. I only realistically need two floating ones. So we'll do a few uh, anniversary tower to say that we added to tower <laughs> number one. Then we'll then we'll compare it to sweep up nine. So we'll do a few runs just to get kind of used to it, see how quick we feel the run itself goes. And then I think that'll be a good comparison. I figure white ID is probably one of the stronger ones. I usually run white or purple all the time in tower and like nothing else. So I should survive it if I go get a Glide Divine, we learned earlier. I think this character has enough raw health that he should survive regardless, actually. The Glide Divine for debuffing is not a bad thing. He's wearing a Hugh New World mag, by the way, chat. <laughs> I'm like, listen, he just needs to land his shots. I don't care about his damage. And he has enough levels that I can at least smart link, which is kind of nice. Downside, my casting is going to be a bit slower. Plus side, demons. Kind of the opposite problem with the other character. Sad I have to choose between like the 801 and those things, but whatever. How far off is he, by the way? Oh, he doesn't even need it. Oh. He's enough for all stats that that doesn't matter. In which case... Let's put one of the adepts back. Negative B1, 801? I should have a few spares, yeah. And I have one floating in case I want to play like a hunter or ranger. He's a character that should definitely just have it full time. But being able to debuff faster I think is more important to me than having more resist. It's 50% of, let's say it's even 1,500, I survive, so I'm good. We'll try a few of these. That way we can also say we participated in the anniversary event. We get the little sticker and everything. It would be pretty funny if one of us got Psycho Wand or something. Is the ultimate reward, but we all know that's not going to happen. I'm going to go for a sunlock here. Nice little cleanup. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Yeah, 
I meant to start it earlier in the day, so apologies for people in the other time zone. But not much I could do while waiting for the plumber. But hey, it went somewhat to the section guide at least. So I think I just gotta review the main bulk of it now. I think I got like the whole beginning cleaned up formatting wise and added some more headers and realized I missed a couple items. Like, I don't know why, for example, Emin's MNA 60 Vice wasn't in my primaries, even though I talk about it throughout the guide. I'm like, whoops. Make sure it's in the right list. It's so sad there's no items in that area. That would have been so good. Team's going in. I'm gonna say jokes on you, game. I'm against the wall. You can't leap at me. Checkmate. Oh, I landed double demons? Wow. Yeah, that was kind of clutch. I'm gonna try to stall them a little bit for the team. Also, I just. Oh, okay. We do. We have one cast. So. Yeah, it won't be totally terrible later, I guess. off again. I'm dead. I actually stepped it up to dodge that. I am so shocked. I did like a little micro step. I didn't think that was enough. Got kind of lucky there. Marco up a little bit. Man, there really aren't any boxes. That is kind of disappointing. That alone almost makes me feel like doing the other quests. Like, come on. I know they might put boxes at the end, but please. It's a lot of boxes to not get on this run. It's like, comparatively, we would have found at least eight boxes already. Let alone anything that would have been at the normal end of the quest. It definitely feels a little stingy, to be real with you. Oh, I'm so hosed. I landed the demons. I, I killed him with the technique. Okay, that that was pretty shameful. The fact that I actually killed something in it, but I killed an ill gill with Razan. Like, come on. That almost never happens. The shame is eternal. And I hear Rico box. Anyway, back to buffs. So yeah, as long as I'm against the wall, I don't think they could really do that much. Secret AI exploit. Yeah. Done decently so far. boxes again. I know not every floor is boxes and other quests, but like legitimately, like on the way up we would have had like four boxes and four boxes and that would probably have been another four boxes. So it starts to add up of really not getting what you probably should in the quest. It's okay if they don't want people to reset this quest, but like at least put something here. Are people really gonna do a box reset this deep? Do you know what I mean? We'll kind of get used to the flow, see how it feels. Like, these enemies are really good if you have an invincibility mag. I think I technically do. I have a Sato. It's not as good as Nidra.
But having limited invincibility triggers is kind of huge. I actually almost killed that Del Beater solo. That's kind of insane. I did like 7,600 damage. Force is putting in the work, Chad. The demons are working today. I almost normal, normal, normal world killed him. I'm gonna wear a Glide Divine just in case. Oh no. People are dying at full health. That's not good. Fire resist must be bad. I would definitely run. Ooh, that ate more than one mono. Oh, that ate many moon atomizers. That's not good. I heard it go bring bring, so I knew it did more than once. That sucks. Gotta be careful. I really dislike in this game that you can multi-moon atomizer the same person. I think that's really dumb. I don't know why it allows that. Like, if they're already in the process of being revived, just don't let me moon atomizer. So speaking of quality of life changes, <laughs> could we, uh, could, could we stop moon atomizer from multi-using on a single person? We're gonna tank up. So with Glide Divine, I know I can't die. I could unequip it to see if without an Adept if I die. I have Frozen for chat. That one's free. That one's for you, chat. Goodbye. There we go. Double demons. Get wrecked. I remember the ill gills punishing me for being in the middle. That's why. That's why I did move slightly off center for click, click, uh, clarification. I was like, I don't know if it's this quest. I don't super recall the spawns, even though we did play this quest earlier. On the opposite ends thing kind of sucks. I was gonna say, I don't remember if I would get punished or not. They were a little far. At that time, no, they punished for being on the left side. Okay, so I do survive without this if I really do need it. That's good to know. And it also potentially triggers my mag invincibility, which is more important. Because being able to be put low enough is actually a crucial detail. So now I can potentially farm invincibility triggers off of Epsilon, which is huge. Right, so I need to remember after the second Epsilon or Del Beaters. Okay. So th that that's going to be my big takeaway right now. Second Epsilon, Del Beater. And I, I have to potentially just go Bowie or ask somebody to freeze trap or something. There's a classic three-man wave. I don't think it really matters where I stand here. I think as long as I'm always somewhat in the center as a force, I think I'm doing it correctly. <laughs> It's like a debuff no matter where they spawn or walk. That's a little scary though. So that one might need a freeze trap. If we could free if we could remember the Ilgil waves. So remembering the quadruple and then the double. I think that would be huge. So I think that's where we're very likely to die, because they're they're just uncontrolled BS. Here I don't think it matters where we stand. So problem waves, quadruple Ilgil, double Ilgil. A lot of them being around the center. So we know after second Epsilon it's Del Beater. And then within I think two waves of that is the quadruple or double Ilgil. I really wish I could walk away to buff you guys. Being held hostage by Epsilon. Alright, uh, there we go. Oh, and that's the whole run. That's actually not that bad, then. So I think that'll give the, the cast a little bit to think about. The memorizing where those Ilgil spawns are pretty huge. I don't think there was really a problem wave outside of that. Welcome, Mr. Piano Man. Good to catch a live stream. Welcome, welcome.
So it's like, maybe the first room might warrant some freeze traps more than the others. Honestly, I don't feel like the rooms in between were too terrible. Uh, arguably, when we're fighting the Ilgil and the flowers, it was probably the only other time where I could see us having problems. But honestly, not bad overall. I'll go ahead and make another game. I'm gonna say, this character ended up putting in quite a bit of work. Thank you, demons. I can't get the finishing blow, but I could put something really close. So other than that, I don't think I really did anything too crazy I need to change as the force. Other than just be aware that there's two times where I have to explicitly remember to either ask for a freeze trap or not be in the middle. Otherwise, it seemed pretty doable. Words you don't often hear associated with tower. Just... That's fine. Let's sort our inventory. Get out of here, Divinity Barrier. I don't care about you. I mana mates, ew. Yeah, I think otherwise I was pretty much on top of all the debuffs. I think there's only one point. I guess before we go in the final room, I should reapply buffs. That's my other takeaway. I'll have to remember what floor it is, but I I'm going to recognize that once we go in the big room, I should probably just immediately buff. I think those are the only things I would really change as the Force player. Say what happened to our fourth player. Uh, I'll leave them on, a, on my inventory for now. Assuming Kaiser wanted the V502. Speaking of which, while we wait, why don't we take a look at the. Not this document. Take a look at the event. So last time when we stopped, it was about 74.50 and 74.68 for atrocities. Let's see where they are today. They're at 76.50 and 78.06. Tower only needs another 100 points or so. I mean, we're going we're to be adding a little bit today. The way we could say we pushed an actual need to play quest up a bit higher. Yeah, I think this quest is fine. I, I think overall, I don't think I had any big issues with the anniversary quests. Because they're generally, like, the best run of most areas. Yeah, this area is a little awkward. I guess I could try to figure out where to stand a little better versus Double Ilgil. But from my standpoint, I don't really change that much either way. Like, I'm still going to be on the side. It's just how far up do I walk? Like, I think here is the right call. I'm just right next to them so I get his demon. But so far, I don't have any issues with where my positioning has been. I mean, do not remember they're behind us? That was the other thing that I would say I probably need to fix a little more. Just remember it's up to, then behind, and then it's back up. Oh, that time they actually hit me. Interesting. Alright, so now I can remember. So after Miracle, I need to Gafoe. I could do that. So let's just try to memorize the problem waves. Where, like, player deaths, in theory, could occur. And then these guys are so close together. And then they're not even facing the right way. I don't think we need to do anything special for them. They're just kind of hosed. Remember the flowers were up here, so it's more the up to back and then get ready to Gafoe or somebody has Twin Blaze, either or. But I, I could probably still do it as a force. I'm not going to force people to try to get the timing correct. Since I'm on the side, I should interrupt most pulls. Just steam in. Nice. And I say, we're killing so quickly, I barely have to use uh, Glide Divine. Yeah, this is an instance where I'm definitely debuffing. Because them getting uncontrolled leads to a lot of damage. I 
think I could use a Rafoe there if I'm not sure. Huh. Again, my strategy of just hugging the left wall seems to be perfectly valid. I don't think so far I've been punished at all. Goodbye, enemies. Yeah, this is the room where I think we also need some touch-up. Because I feel like there's more potential for enemies to get out of control. Like, once we kill this Del Beater, the backwards ambush is really annoying. I might just stay on the left side here. I'll deal with it. Because I know eventually it's going to be Ilgil and a Murder Flower, and I'm like... I don't really have to go beyond this point, it's good. I just need to make sure there's no murder flower that can reach me if I'm here. No, there's not. Yeah, it's better that I go over here, I think. Seriously. I say, where's my demon? Yeah, and that gives me a cleaner shot at everything. Only that Lily could potentially hit me, but I think Team remembered that pretty well. I figure since it was a somewhat recent question, people were asking me about, like, positioning. I'm definitely not, like, anywhere near the top of the line when it comes to positioning. But I just want to walk through my thought process, like, when I go through a quest. People are always wondering, like, how do you determine where to trap or things like that. So this is going in basically blind. I've done this quest maybe a couple times at this point. Uh, but it's just kind of identifying, like, where are the problems in the run? Where can I stand as a force? So I could get a clean demons. Do I need Glide Divine in order to debuff? And then the cast will consequently think, was there ever a time where there's more than one murder flower that potentially proves a problem to the group? So like, was there ever like a backward spawn that tries to punish us? So sort of like this. Where like, if frozen shooters aren't necessarily out at that time, that could be very bad. But you know, if you're expecting it, you can have like people basically split up a little bit and deal with them. The people will find a natural rhythm as they play with the same group over and over. They're like, oh, I targeted the left one last time, so I'm probably just gonna do the same. And then once they find out, you know, from there, did it work? Yes, if so, repeat. And maybe in some scenarios we kind of revisit, so we don't want to make assumptions. Like, just because we did it one way doesn't mean it was good kind of thing. Like, here's an example where I Rebarda, because I know both of them are in range, and this shuts them down in case no freeze traps are used. It's like, we don't necessarily need a cast in the run. Like, it helps. So it's also important to know as, like, a force, like, how would you shut down a room if there's no freeze traps? So that's my thought process. I'm like, oh, did I see an enemy doing something I really don't like? Let's shut it down. And I like that I put a little Gafoe there. After that wave, I'm going to try to remember to do that next time, because that'll stop the ill gills from dashing. That's kind of like using a Twin Blaze. If I sense that something bad is about to happen, I just do this. And it just stops them from charging. So there's little things I could do, even if it's not like damaging, that potentially just adds consistency to the run. That's all we can really ask for at the end of the day. Not necessarily that you get speed clear, but you do it consistently. So here's where I have to remember what wave it is. So it's after... Okay, trigger my invincibility, please. Really not going to give it to me? That sucks. So I'm going below 10% health, so I know for a fact that this will trigger my invincibility if it wants to trigger. Ooh, my abilities are kind of terrible. So, like, I know I'm about to be surrounded there, so I could just on purpose Gafoe. So if I won in between waves, I could just send out a Gafoe. Maybe that's the safest strat as a force. Or ever a downside to this? Sort of? 
It does require a little quicker response there, which is not the best. I feel like I'm about to get ill guild. Oh, Epsilon first. That's fair. Am I really not going to trigger? So sad. Even with base percent, it probably should have triggered by now. One game. Let's say it's even 15%. I've been knocked down at least seven times. So sad. Unfortunately, team has to be really careful with the position against the Epsilon. And I definitely cannot help you if you go out of range. Yeah, that was the Ilgil wave. So, Gafoe didn't work in that scenario. Interesting. So they're too close for me to do anything. So I guess I can make note if I defeat them with the Epsilon. I can't just stand there and go foe. Unless I time it really well. So I might need, like, again, equivalency of a low-level Gafoe versus a lingering Gafoe. Oops. Did not center my camera correctly. For the most part, I was focusing on this side of the room, so I don't want to confuse people. So I'll continue to try to focus on that side of the room. Can always be a little off-center. Leave me alone. You buff the team again. I did manage to get buffs right at the beginning of this area as well as right before. There were a couple character deaths. I, you know, I went to Gafoe. Okay, so I think that's where the group will have to group up on me. So I think, Chad, if you remember where that Epsilon is, just group to me. Because I, I don't think I could stop that if the group is on opposite sides. Then after this, you can run and split up. Because there's going to be awful enemies. So I think there's a couple of times we're going to have to get really close, and that's going to be one of them. Nice V502, by the way. Okay, right idea. I did stop one of them with a Gaboe, but it could be better. Nobody was targeting the Del Lily. <laughs> so sad. Team, please. <laughs> there we go. I guess if I'm not sure, I could use a spell. I'd prefer to actually hit the thing that's trying to kill me, though. This, the Ilgil will murder me if I don't kill him quickly. He was hard focusing me. I almost demoned him in time. It's close. Yeah, the final wave isn't too bad. I think I'll get escaped all here. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some moon atomizers since I'm kinda low. I'm gonna drop the mono fluid because I don't need it. Okay, so we'll do two more. And then I want to compare the other quest that is normally done outside of events for V502. Which I think is still better, from what I remember. Not only are there more ill gills, but should just be better boxes too. But I want to make sure we kind of get into a little bit of a groove. Marco's got to go for 10 to 15. Her thing. If anybody would like to hop in and take his place, let me know. says I can if no one else. Sure thing, Dango. If you want to bring Dangotron, it's up to you. 
this like a 10 minute loop for like a 20 second song, please? Soundtrack, please. I'm skipping it forward. I'll spare chat on that one. I'm taking that Masetta. I'm taking all the Masetta. Yeah, so we're gonna remember it's two in front, one in back, and then problem wave. But I potentially have to Kafoe. So if chat wants to group near me, they can for the problem wave. Uh, otherwise, you are on your own. If you decide to walk out in the middle, I cannot help you. I do not ever want to go in the middle. I think the rule of thumb with tower is if you're ever standing out in the middle, you're probably doing it wrong. Because you're gonna open yourself up to Gibbles. Because just so that you're aware, Gibbles can't jump at you, and Ilgil can't really skate at you if your back is against a wall. Fun fact. So if you're wondering why it feels like you're being punished by trying to be in position, it's probably because you're actually out of position. So that's why I hug the wall. <laughs> that's what I learned early on from doing a lot of E502 hunts in Stupid Resets. Okay, so it's going to be two in front, one in back, and then a problem wave, and I got a Gafoe on that one. So this is going to be the improve, the self-improvement of the run. And where we could try to give some advice on observations, we will. Here's two enemies here that are not going to dash because our backs are to the wall. Get wrecked. Once they're frozen or whatever, you can do whatever you want. But you see how they're like not targeting me and they're not really targeting the person to my left? We're too close to the wall. But unfortunately, Hunter doesn't get that privilege. So we know once we get to this last one, be prepared to turn around because we do have to deal with that. Oops, hitting fail. Now I'm going to turn around again. This time I'll put a Gafoe out. It should stop the Del Beater. Yeah, see that? There we go. That's good control. So I guess if you want to be in the middle there, it's fine, as long as you aren't past me. I think I think that'll be the call. So if you find you need to be in a different position after the Ilgil, that should be fine. Just, uh... Yeah, look at them. They, 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 they're trying to find somebody they can skate to. They're trying so hard. Come on, Ilgil. Perish. The nice thing is I'm always ready to rip always to unlock both of them. So I kind of have the equivalency of like a, a long range weapon to deal with them. That wasn't too bad. See, I think that was just the adaptation. Two in front, one in back. I go Foey. It stops the Del Beaters. In theory, if we're really close together, that means that we could potentially get a really tight uh, freeze trap. But that, that requires, I think, use the Twin Blaze. This would be like without an item, what I would do in the hunt. Remember, my damage is terrible. Nice level up. Damage matters. That'll help with the other Gibbles. I was gonna say, Gibbles wants to fight me for sure. We talked about that last time. Gibbles, not if not a, not a and of male forces. I'm pretty good decoy for Gibbles. In this wave, I could kind of do some delayed Rifoes until the team kills. But they could do whatever they want here. We know this is the final wave. Oh my gosh, I killed with Rifoe. I did it. I'm living the force dream. I think that's not a bad time to restock it. Oh, 
by Delbeater. So we know it's going to be a lot of enemies and then two on the side. So we definitely need somebody that will take care of the Del Lily. I can handle the stuff that's behind us pretty well. I'm not as worried about that. Oh boy. Uncontrolled little gill. Leave me alone. There we go. That's scary to see. Fortunately, we killed everything else. So lore is out, so the team can just rely on damage. I'll do demons, so I still contribute to fights. I know the Skibbles is not really going to do anything. I could pull both, because it doesn't matter. As long as nobody's in the middle, he has to do the slow wall. I'm just kind of helping speed things up a little bit. Wow, I actually shot him to death. Rare. Yeah, this room is kind of evil because it, it, sw it swaps like where you have to focus. As a force, I don't have to memorize it, but like, I know they're going to come from two different directions here. That could be a big pain. If I'm in a good position there, I can kind of act as like a mini freeze trap. That's our atomizer for sure. How is this not triggering Sato? Sato, please. Where are my buffs chat? This is why this is why I play with Nidra more than Sato. I got no love from Sato. By Ilgil. Like, it's actually crazy that this thing is not proc. I'm not at zero synchro either. I'm low, but it should still go off at least once. Crazy. Unfortunate. So here, these enemies, I don't think could be stopped by Good Bowie, because they stop themselves automatically. I think it's just more important that I draw their ire for the team. Oh, now you give me invincibility? Wow. Chat, that was like 18 attempts at me putting it one. <laughs> like, thanks, game. A little late there. Great. I can't take advantage of this at all. Cool. Big sigh. I mean, what am I going to do? Just be invincible for just this and not the things that will actually kill me? It blows. I'm going to reply buffs. I'm going to move slightly out of the center. I don't know if I play slightly off center, then I'll be good to go. Then if the ill gills come, I might be able to rebarda without getting hit immediately. Oh, that's not good. I used the wrong spell there. Keep up. Rip Dango. Did I finally get invincibility? Jeez. I'm gonna be out of the center for this next one. I'll put out a fireball. Eh, I didn't really slow him up much. Even when I moved, I not that much. Unfortunate. I'm in a very dangerous spot because I'm in the middle of the room, but unfortunately for them, I have invincibility. So I don't mind being decoys for them, for sure. Let's go back to my normal positioning. The way I don't freak people out. <laughs> I think I always target this guy first. I'm so glad I gelined. 
Uh, I'm dead. Oh, no. Demons. Thank you, demons. There we go. Ooh, good cleanup by the team. So let me get this straight. I went from literally zero procs to like now like four times in a row. Whatever, Sato. And of course it procs it here and not on the next shot. See, right here is right where I would have liked to have gotten it so I could actually take advantage of it. Well. Out of fireball. Team was in group near me. Rip. At least we're almost done here. Kibbles tried to jump at me because of the middle of the arena. I almost got punished. I managed to- Oh! Chad, it's not help- Oh boy, that almost killed me. I need some serious help. I mean, I'm surprised I stun locked two Ilgil and didn't die to that Devil Lily, to be honest with you, but that is definitely a scary thing. We had a very uncontrolled, uh. Literally the whole room other than the one the chat was fighting. It was a little scary. Uh, now invincibility helps. Thank you, invincibility. Now I don't have to worry about stray Gaigui hits killing me. boxes. Alright, we'll do one more of these, then we'll try the other one as a comparison. Probably do two of the other one, just to make it a bit more fair. That will be a lot of V502 attempts. There we go. sad part is I need to keep giving this thing die mates. Not finished with its levels. No. No P502. they keep 10 minute looping these short tracks driving me wild next song i really yeah i'll, I'll end up seeing one today outside of somebody else picking it up also that's an insane number of materials Am I almost capped again? Start inventing new characters just to put more materials away. Do a quick back check, see how we're doing. 98 silver. Yeah, that's about what I thought happened. So I'm going to have to convert those to gold. I don't mind having a statue at 99 just in case I want to do something with them, but... Yeah, 99 in the share bank is not good. So I think when we go to transition between quests, I'm going to very briefly go to the bad shop. And if people want to join that, that's up to them. But then I'm going to continue with the run, because being out of space for badges is really annoying. The one final tower one. Two 
two in front, one in back, problem wave, Gafoe. together I'm liking that adaptation this this feels like this is what you're supposed to have done like we basically heart shut down the Del beaters and regard of them maybe he almost skated at me because I left the the safety of the wall At this point, I'm just gonna ATP kill it. When you miss demons twice, you're like, yeah. Don't even bother at that point, it's too injured. It should almost always look at me if I'm close enough. So I'm the bait for that, Gibbles. We've accepted our role in society with that one. I actually managed to kill that Del Loli by myself. That was kind of satisfying. Second to reset. Keep up all of them. Chat should be able to kill them. Landed the demons. All you can ask for. Okay, I'll wait to buff until later. Ooh, I'm not using as much TP. And if we walk over here, they do seem to get stuck, which is nice. This also feels like the intended way to kill these. Oh, we immediately froze that ill guild. That was sick. That's two enemies completely shut down. Well, good job, team, holding off the other ones. Like that use of Frozen Shooter to stall for time. They say, do, do whatever you can to buy that time. There we go. Kill the Gagui. What's your soundtrack? Oh, maybe because he's a guest character in Soul Calibur 6? You know what? It didn't kill me. I'm happy. I saw it do the attack and I was like, if it aimed at me, I'm so dead because I was not moving. I was really close to it. Goodbye, Maricus. Interesting. That interrupted the freeze trap. I almost wonder if I need to wear a Lieutenant Mantle so I can see if they're there. Hi. 
Okay, so I need to buff at the end of the prior room. Okay. That's fine. I can also buff during this wave, because this wave also doesn't really do anything. I think I'm okay with this. We know it's double bell beater. Still do this to slow them down a little. Okay, I felt like a pretty clean scent here. Briefly buff people if I need to again. Come on, Mag. If there's ever a time I want you to give me invincibility, it's right now. Of course not. If I'm perfectly dead center, they can't melee me and they kind of waste their time. I kind of like being in the center here. Just after this, I don't know if I like being in the center. Do a little happy heal. Center. For Dango Tron. For Dango Tron. Yeah, Rebarda is definitely the right call here to stun lock until a freeze trap happens. You just panic. You panic, press that button, you pray chat kills them. Chat, please. <laughs> there we go. Damn. No one freeze trapped. I was mashing that to try to live. Oh, no freeze trap? Oh. Oh, yeah, you need to keep a couple for that. I don't know what you used them on earlier, but yeah, this is kind of the wave we need it. There's one more wave we're going to need a freeze trap, I think. I don't think the other waves really needed them, per se. Like, the, these, this room definitely needs it. Because we, we don't have the luxury of the wall. Cheese them. Oh boy, I'm probably dead here. Nope, save. Buff time, give buff time. Heal Dangotron. Come on, Mega Mid's ability, be kind. A group near me. There we go. We're done. So dead. Oh wait, Chess handling the far one. Yeah, because last time I almost got rooted. That's why I was surprised I didn't die to that far Del Lily. Okay, that time we had good coverage. Yeah, all it takes is just one person shutting down that Del Lily. I was so scared, chat. I don't know if you saw in the previous run. I was trying to deal with all three of those. I was like, uh-oh. Force can only do so much there. Come on, invincibility, please trigger. No. I don't know. I have a feeling I probably would not like Nier Automata. I watched a little bit of somebody playing it. 
It did not look like a game for me. Bit of Epsilon here. Box pop in time. There's only so many static picks, I think so. Okay, so we got a good idea. Like, we got our time to, like, pretty close to 10 minutes. You know, we don't have, like... I don't think anybody's using, like, challenge mode BS, like, uh, demon mechs or whatever. There's definitely room for improvement in terms of gear, but I think that was fine for what it was. It's definitely scary to not have freeze traps, I will say, though. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> there are certain waves, I'm like, oh, oh man. Oh, you were using demon mechs? Oh, okay. I thought you were just using, um... Uh else my bad because I know somebody was demoning because I remember that on Epsilon but I, I didn't think it was a uh, challenge mode nothing in here of interest yeah like I have a good bringers rifle yeah, I mean, demons in general, I agree, you should always bring it. I just didn't realize it was a challenge mode weapon. Um... Yeah. Do I have any comment about the character build? Yeah, people should definitely be bringing in your frozen shooter, your... Beast traps, your... Demon equivalency. Cast characters just need a really strong weapon, like a Daylight Scar. Excal, Galatine, even. Just something with raw ATP. Let's try the normal quest for this. Is it feasible to farm a high hit MN60 Vice and Jaya from hard and very hard? Um. From my understanding, I always get this confused, but I believe it is less likely to roll hit as an attribute in the lower difficulties. However, you it it's arguable if it's going to be offset by how many raw chances you get. So let's take, for example, the nonsense of uh, Cal's Clock Tower. I want you to take a look at Blue ID on both of those difficulties and look at how many Jaya chances that they get there. You might just roll the dice. Like, honestly, you could kind of view it this way. Even if it goes from, like, a 1% or from a 3% down to, like, a 1%, right? Let's say that those are the percentages offhand. There are literally, like, 5 plus chances of Jaya <laughs> the lower difficulties. It's actually insane. I almost feel like pulling it up on screen. Like, if all you want is Jaya, I would say, probably. You could probably literally do CCC if you really wanted to. They're not bad when we're doing, like, the leveling, but, like, seriously, look at how much Temple gets. It's actually insane. We'll get started in a second. I just want to count how many there are. So there are Hidum, Migium, which is Jaya chances, Evil Shark, Nano Dragon, in, like, just an example in Caves. If you look at Episode 2, it's Lily, Indie Belra, Arlen's, there should be one more. And Hill Delts. Which is like almost every enemy in there. Yeah, and they'll also... Exactly. They'll also potentially do uh, hard mode for vices. Actually, that's a good point. I don't think I wrote that in my quest thing. Let me make a note there. I did that for uh, Jaya, but I didn't do that for Purple Numb. That's actually a good call out. Thank you. I, I was like, wait a minute. See, I knew I was forgetting something. See, this is why we got to talk to chat more. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure I've played it, and I just, it totally slips my mind to put it in the guide. But welcome, Hope Leaf. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, so... I don't remember what page it's specifically on. But I know on the Affinia site, it gives the breakdown for the... Odds of... Uh, hit percentage. It is lower, but it's not, like, that much lower between ultimate and very hard. Normally... Oh, getting murdered. 
normally it would be a bigger concern when we're talking about like normal roll items but keep in mind rares can roll up to 100 anyway regardless of difficulty it's just the only thing that really makes it so that you're not just playing on like normal for every rare like hard mode is it just reduces the chance if someone has the exact percentages feel free to share i just don't remember offhand Yeah, it's like, I, I, I knew it was like not super high. It was like somewhere between 1 and 5%. You're saying it's 3% for very hard? That sounds about right. So again, you're kind of just looking at it where like... You're gonna get like, what, maybe Aegei a chance at ultimate. And blue ID... You know, has plus and minuses whether you even play it on ultimate. The, also, the flip side is the run is so much easier. Because everything is just so much more hellable. So the speed of the run is like way faster. On top of there being literally like double to triple the amount of uh, things to do. So if all you care about is Jaya, those runs exist. And we'll go back and get that power material. Just like there's some- oh yeah, I need to do that for Desco of Rayman too. Let me make a note. I'm gonna put down an honorable mentions, oh my god. Yeah, episode 4 is just silly in general, so just power leveling, you'll get Ignition Cloak Jaya, two chances of Photon Crystals, etc. Like, there's reasons to do, like, actual legit runs. Uh, but then there's, like, the niche, I just want an item runs. Where you're not looking for XP, you're, you're looking to exploit something explicitly. Yeah. I mean, there's, like, a million. I'm, I'm not gonna name every rare in episode 4. I could be here forever. <laughs> just, trust me, Chad, I know. I, there's so many. There's so many. I just, I don't feel like naming them all. Needless to say, there are a lot of opportunities for common items if you want them. I'm more just saying in general that you will do that kind of run as part of standard play. You will generally not do something where it's oops all Jaya in standard play. That's more of like a solo run. I mean, I guess people could in theory hop in, but it's I almost never see anybody do that. A Del Beater though. This quest is a little more annoying due to the souls. I'm not gonna lie. Silly souls. It's also kind of rough that we just immediately get attacked, so if, if we're like out of sync there, we get attacked uh, with hell nonsense. Uh, we're having a lot of uncontrolled ill gills, that's not good. There we go. Try to lock something down. Why can't I target that guy? That's weird. Yeah, like, most people are not gonna be like, Oh, let's go do... Let's do hard mode temple today. Or, like, a very hard mode temple. Whereas, like, you would more reasonably be like, Oh, I need to power level, let's go do this. I guess in theory, if you really wanted to power level as a ranger, I guess that'd be your alternative. But I think in terms of just raw value, being able to do massive attack is just generally better. Unless everybody seriously only needs Jaya. Yeah, I mean, you should probably get a Hellshot or a Hell Needle for Episode 2 if you play Ranger. I think that's a question. Ericus, please perish. There we go. So I like that there's boxes at the hills. I don't know if I like some of the... It's interesting to go backwards here, but at the same time, it's like, mm, 
lot of really annoying enemies to fight. Right, at least now I can get my bearing against the wall. That sucks. Come on, debuffs, debuffs, debuffs. No! Okay, there we go. Need to get some buffs in. Unfortunate. Yeah, this... It seems to like putting stuff behind us, which I don't think I appreciate in the quest. I don't think it's like super... Cr I don't think it's super crazy hard, but I'm not gonna lie, this quest seems to have a lot of annoying gimmicks. You want we could get to it, the people I just want to level and we can try CC with Liquid Blazing Hell. Like, right now? Or just in general? Oh, in general. Yeah, I. I think at some point I want to do it, because I do want to see what the power leveling is like with the Ranger. So I definitely agree with that. I want to do that for sure as a video. I was debating if I wanted to do challenge mode first or not, but I, I could get a lone weapon. That's fine. I would like to eventually get one per stream. Event would be best time anyway. Hmm. Uh, okay. Interesting proposition. Well, I guess... Okay, well, let, let's talk about the logistics then. I wasn't thinking about making a character during the event. But if the offer's there, the offer's there. I'm in such trouble. Okay, here's the logistic of it. Did you want to potentially wait to see if we got another XP boost? Because it's only 185. Or, if we do it potentially, I would rather do it later tonight. I don't want to do it, like, literally right this minute. I'm divorcing demons, yeah. I was getting kind of unlucky with some of my shots. Yeah. Why don't, why don't we pick a day, and then we could do it then. And then I need to think about what ID Ranger I should make, because I, I'm not- I wasn't really thinking about it. I probably want a pink rock seal at some point, but other than that, I don't know what IDs I want as my cast Rangers. I'm assuming I'll be making a cast. I guess in theory I could also make a Ramar. I don't know. We we need discussion on it. My I, I have not that was like the furthest thing from my mind during this event. So I will take Hellcleave's suggestions, because I don't mind making ca more characters. I don't know if I guess I should have a spare ranger wall already, so that's one annoying thing out of the way. I did level a character recently. Yeah. I think I have enough heavenly arms that I could still do it if I want to. I'm so worried. I was gonna say, oh, I was like, where, the, where is the nonsense? I didn't like how silent it was in this area. All right, well, at least I got Rebarda to slow them down a little. Yeah, I'll probably do a solo one at some point for sure, but I think it'd be interesting to do a multiplayer one as like a test run.
So I could, in theory, just do the Rocket Seal solo one. But then it's like, what character do I level? I'm assuming I'm going to make a Ramar or a Rawcast. I'm assuming I'm not going to make another Ramar. She's purple ID. She's fine. But it's like, what do I really want to do with the Rawcast? Where do I feel like I haven't been able to use one? I guess I don't really have one for... ETF IDs? Because I have yellow ID, which you use a lot in episode 1. I have my... The same one does my episode 2 stuff. Unless I really want to do episode 2... Like, tower with them? I don't know. I guess that opens up a bigger question. Where do I think the Rawcast is most wanted? Like, I think he's actually surprisingly good with Cannon Rouge in most areas. Especially learning that little tip with Episode 4 recently. So I don't think it's really come up. I don't think I've ever really seen anybody try to Cannon Rouge. Like, we talked about it, like, last year for sure, but we never had somebody just, like, actively Cannon Rouging every run. It was usually just two forces or, like, Pew Pew Laser for the damage. Yeah, I'm just thinking about, like, what would his, like, guaranteed ID be? What would I want to hunt with him? Or I wouldn't want to do that as, like, Ramar. Or I'm kind of thinking about it a little bit. To him hosting, for example, TTFs wouldn't be bad, so I'd be more predisposed to... Uh... I already have a Viridian Rocket Seal, so I wouldn't probably make that one. I would be more disposed to, like, green, red, white. Technically could do sky if I wanted to. I see some boxes at the bottom, which is nice. Wow, this is a... This is an interesting final room. For Dangotron. Long live Dangotron. I'm so dead. Oh no, I got knocked down. I'm on. Yeah, I want you to be more in the middle. So yeah, this run definitely feels like... There's a lot more needed to memorize. There's a lot of really bad spawns. They're not, like, hard, but it does feel like I'm getting knowledge checked more in this quest than the other quests. The other quests, they mostly were in front of us, and mostly we were together. There's, like, maybe two rooms per area. That was kind of bad. Also with- oh, warps. I'm not a fan of gimmicks. Hopefully we can actually complete this quest. I'm not really sure. Wow, teleport straight into the Epsilon. That is so rude. Wow, game. Also, where's my invincibility? Game, please. Legit getting put to 50 health. It should trigger. So I'll have to think about it a little more, because I think that discussion would also help the uh, item guide. Or section ID guide. Talking about, like, where specifically would the raw cast be best. Like, yes, he could technically go everywhere with multiplayer and you can do whatever you want. But, like, where would he actually be better than, like, his ranger counterparts? Like, I know where ranger would be better than hunter, right? Like, I don't think there's a question as to, like, what, you know, episode one is hunter worlds, especially with the bosses. And then episode two is, like, oh my gosh, you're, you're picking something without high accuracy, perish. Unless you're a Hugh cast. Hugh, Hugh cast can break those rules, of course, but... Definitely, like, a very night and day difference. Oh, I am so dead. Yeah. That was unfortunate. It was, like, a little too far from the railing to stop that. See, he's walking up to me because he can't skate to me. I see that. Leave me alone, Ilgil. How far is that other Ilgil that I can't debuff him? Well, that's crazy. Yeah, something tells me 
we are not going to finish this quest. We'll get close, but I don't think we're going to finish it. Where is my bag invincibility? Game, please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Mag invincibility. I had so many opportunities to become invincible to that. Holy. Actually getting cheated out here. Demand a refund. Ooh, we... Oh, barely cleared it. Barely cleared it. So, from that perspective, we could try it one more time. But I think overall, in terms of clearing it, the other one was way easier. There are less... Uh, ill gills in the other quest but we have to look at it from like a time perspective if there are you know let's say six six more ill gills compared to the quest and there's a i don't know let's say let's say a 40 percent difference in the ill gills total when you compare the ratios we only spent 10 minutes doing the other quest so even though there are a lot of them it feels like the Anniversary Tower quest is just way easier to do if everybody is not, like, raw cast, raw cast, you cast combos. This quest feels much more punishing. I'm willing to give it one more shot. It's not bad when you have people that can stun lock it, so I'm curious now that we've seen it, if it'll smooth the experience up at all. But yeah, definitely like night and day, how much easier the other quest was. So we could potentially go back to tower as needed. I'm willing to do one more and then let's mix up what quests we do regardless. That way I can say we did a very fair attempt at B502 today where we did, I think, four or five of Tower, and then two of these. It's a lot of runs. <laughs> yeah, let's see. How are, how's the event total doing? Like, if Tower's close, we might just push Tower the rest of the way. No, what Tower's at 7932. We'll do this once, and then we'll, we'll finish until it says 8000. How's that? Then we never have to touch this quest ever again. Yeah, I think the big thing is just learning where the game very meanly puts stuff behind us. So it's like, you, you just have to know which of those dots is actually a priority threat. Yeah, this starting room is also kind of mean. I know there's going to be something over here, so I could try to be over here to stunlock it a bit. So it's like, you know, I gleamed a little bit of knowledge, even though I was talking a lot through it. But it's like, over, oh, wait, overall, there's still some questionable early stuff. Okay. That's not too bad if we know that the thing is in the corner. The team did get a, a good split there. This area is just evil. I don't even know what to say. Just immediately Ilgil in your face and Gibbles in the corner. So rude. <clears throat> I could be the sacrificial lamb for the chat. Okay, let's take out the Dill Beater, actually. So if you want, I'm probably the least important thing in this run. <laughs> Once I get my debuffs down, it doesn't really matter. So I can go midway down. And then if chat, if you want to hang back, you should be able to ambush the things ambushing me. So so we get to turn that little ambush around. So just don't walk further than me, and then you should be good. I'm going to bait this on purpose. We know there's going to be another ambush, so just be careful. I'm going to be in the corner, so nothing should hit me immediately. Yeah. Let's continue forward. So I think if we play like this, it should be fine. If they want to ambush me, it's whatever. I'm going to stunlock these. Yeah, I think the big ambush was... E was that the bottom of this room or the next room? That I don't remember. I just know there was a very upsetting wave. But I could volunteer to be in the middle. So if I need to trigger something, I could be the person that's close enough to do the traps. 
You photon drop me? Wow, that is disrespectful. Check your head, chat. It actually just got photon dropped. Big, big F. But there's the Ilgil. It's not able to quite do anything. That's good. Team's playing further back. I think we're getting rewarded. Oops. I was unlocking the one down there. Lost track of that one. I'm going to back up as well, actually. I think once that wave is there, I think I'm going to also back up. There we go. I'll volunteer to go forward. Okay, we have a straight passageway at least. There we go. Nothing in the boxes. We'll wait for the team. Reapply some buffs. Team getting junk rares. Love to see it. I'm gonna stay against this wall, see what happens. Oh, that's some nonsense. Okay. I'm gonna be resonding to slow them down. I got clipped by the furthest target, that sucks. I was so far when that hit me. That is so sad. Did he target me again? Oh, that was rude. Unfortunate, but that's okay. Again, I would rather be the one that dies, because I don't do anything once I debuff. Like, it's fine. I'll land some demons, maybe something will happen. So I would rather be the person that dies repeatedly. Although that's really going to destroy my mag synchro. Rip, rip mag. We'll, we'll take it for the team, though. So I'll try to play a, like far up and on the left and see if that gets me through. Seriously. I got invincibility from the Gaigui, at least, finally. So eventually, if I was playing a more level character, I would definitely be abusing invincibility here. There wouldn't even be a question in my mind if I was going to abuse it or not. I want to back up slightly. In a bad position, I think. Actually, I'm invincible. It doesn't matter right now. And we could take some stray shots like that. Did you seriously badge me? That's also rude. Right, so I think there's going to be a bad spawn potentially after this. Be very careful. I'm going to look behind me. Oh, good enough. Almost killed. Almost killed the Ilgil. Yes! I bullied him. I did it. <laughs> Silver badged. Oof. Big oof chat. Big big F in the chat. <laughs> Man. That's just rude. So sad. There we go. I'm liking chat playing further back. Yeah, that was one of the ambush spawns. Killed the Ilgil that was fighting me. Welcome, Pasta Bomb. Thank you for the follow. Rip the music. Ooh, we'll need a change of pace after all this tower, though. <laughs> Dark room. I remember I think Poofwee took us here before. I remember going like, oh, I think the quest isn't so bad. And then we get to the dark room and I'm like, okay, I don't think I like the quest as much. I hate dark room gimmicks. I really do. It's so annoying. At least I could do this. Spam some heal buttons here. Found the Del Lily. Oh, I landed double demons. Nice. Yeah, this room is a little silly. I feel like this one is just a hard knowledge check. Because it's like, first of all, it's a dark room. And then second of all, it's just like Del Beaters us. Well, we're all the way in the middle of the room already. So we're not in like a good position at a time. Probably my least favorite room in the run. 
But oh well. Grab some of these. This will reapply buffs. Hope you're doing well, past the Pong. So, I'll think about what IDs I want on the raw cast. I'm very happy with the YOLO ID raw cast. It went from a character I basically never touched to playing some of my favorite quests in the game. I'm wondering if I can find, like, a good ID for Episode 2 with them. Like, do I want, like, a blue ID raw cast, for example? I probably want a blue ID ranger at some point. Or whether I should make that a Ramar or not, I'm undecided. Because I, I do need somebody that would potentially make RT a lot easier for respective tomorrow runs. I wouldn't mind them doing Jaya either. I'm definitely curious what Hellcleave will think later. Thinking, blue, yeah, definitely a Blue Ranger, either Ramar or Rawcast. I guess if I was doing a tower ID quest, like if I made another character, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, I'll take Hulkby's opinion on the hunts there. I I've heard conflicting things, whether it's better to do it with a cast, and whether even you need a ranger for the sky hunt, because you just bulk and everything to death as you cast, for example. I'm curious what Hellcleave is used. Because there's a few different quests you can use to fight the Gaigwees. I guess it really just depends on which one you're hunting. And, and, and what quest you're using to hunt them. So. I know personally I don't really want to do Sky ID hunts. I'll, I'll do it to appease chat, but I am like... The amount of effort I will put in it will be like, I did two quests, I'm done. <laughs> That's about it. I, I don't expect that to be like, oh, we're going to be here for five hours or make it till you break it kind of thing. I mean, it feels like the run's going a bit smoother. We're learning to uh, deal with the nonsense. Around this time, the other quest would be completing. Definitely want to stay against the walls. I'm like, hell no, I'm not stepping out in there. No way am I doing that. Out of your mind if you think I am. Okay, so now they have to walk towards me instead of leaping. Because I'm a force, they're going to find me. This spawn is probably one of the most annoying. This challenge just woke up, so these schedule out of whack. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully you get more rest. I was gonna say, for me here, it's like 2.40 in the afternoon. I understand. Get the Mesetas. Yeah, this is, this is fine. See, we're already at the... You know what? I'll be at the Sacrificial Lamb. Can I choose to set up on these if they need? Ah, uh, nice, nice. Mag invincibility. Damn, didn't get it. One day, chat. One day, Sato will grace me with its buffs.
Yeah, I like that some players can potentially just stay behind on the laser gate. I think that also helps significantly. I'm going to try to lock down the whole room with Rebarda. This is what I've also learned. If I do this, I think this is going to help the team significantly. Like, just having another person to do, like, a quasi-freeze trap. Because that's a lot to do for just one player. That's what I was saying before, like... I think you could definitely get away with only one cast user in the other quest. This one is really hard to get away with one. You'd have to retrap at minimum. Okay, I did some debuffs here. I think my goal here is to just demon when I can. Otherwise, just stun lock. I could stun lock too. Okay, that's a good good lockdown here. Good lockdown. Now we could demon. Nice, Tango got a V502. I got run over for sure. Let's kill the guy, Gui, so there's less hitting the chat. Well, that almost killed me. I feel a little targeted here. I will read the chat in a moment. So yeah, so that was like almost two minutes closer. So, you know, there's always going to be that unfamiliarity of being cheesed. But we could see like a big difference in time. Like now, now that's like a more comparable time between the two. So I'm glad we gave that another shot. Do I really want to run it again? Not really, but I wouldn't mind doing this if this was an RBR because it can enter RBR as a reminder. All right, so Puzzle Punk says, speaking of Epsilon, there were moments where I hugged him, he targeted me, but Rafa always missed me hitting five feet behind me. Um, you can outwalk his Rafoe. I prefer to tank it since you probably want to trigger your mag invincibility. So I'm like the perfect HP where I get set to less than 10% of my health from one attack. And uh, hopefully it triggers invincibility. Sadly though, game was like, nope. So no love there. That's fun. Hmm. If there's anything else I want in here. Okay, so we're we're gonna take a, a brief stop to uh, get rid of badges because I have way too many badges. People are more than welcome to join me as I trade in these badges. I'll wait a moment because I gotta pull them out of my bag. I'll do them in the other quest, and then we're gonna resume with a different quest, and we'll talk about what chat would like to do. Uh. Leave it here for people that want to hop in. That three seals, you kind of need like 300 more HP. Uh, roughly. Check Epsilon's health real quick. Or set damage. Oh, did they not list? Yeah, 1465 in multiplayer. So go from there more cr runs uh yeah we could potentially do that today so sadly no v502 for me but two people got v502 congratulations i'm going to withdraw a bunch of badges because i have quote way too many end quote okay so we're gonna deal with this real quick so i actually have space in my share bank and then uh i guess we could do surface Oh, I'm doing shop. <laughs> I'm like, right now, I'm, I'm straight up in shop. I need to uh, trade up. I just have too many things in my inventory. The great flood of badges has occurred. And given that we're picking up so many bronze badges, I'm just gonna... No, I'm not gambling. That takes too long. Maybe some silvers. Stop talking. <sighs> Why did they add that dialogue in there on like a primary thing? There we go. Alright, let's convert up. 
Approaching the 99, I've been over for a while. Every single character has been holding on to extras. It's kind of annoying. Like, I think between all my characters, I could probably just put another 40 bronze badges in there at this point. Okay, there we go. Cut up my silvers to gold. Yeah, I can see people that want to do mag cells. You can make item tickets and go from there. Right, so how many gold badges are we up to? 31 in the bank. We know there's 42 on the other characters. So that's 73. I have another batch of 99, so I think I have 82. So, that's eh, not too bad. About 13 gold badges away from a uh, Photon Sphere. Okay, so, do we have a red ID to host, or do I need to be a force? We're going to do some cannon rusion. I did think about what character bank that was. Actually, I should probably put these items back real quick. I'm going to put this away, switch in. I'm guessing I'll go force. We'll do Anniversary Crater. Put one of these away. Keep that one. Did he put his other adept in here already? If he did, then I'm good. Okay, he did. You have a red force as well, so it's in parameter. Well, if you want to use the red force, that would help me out a lot. So if you want to level them, I will offer it to you, but I need to know now before I log in. To make the game, specifically. Go play him, nice, nice. It got stuck there, I'm just gonna close it. Let's try this again. I know there is a character I am dying to level. Give the game a moment. It'll think about it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go into the configuration file and disable the automatic menu open. I don't know why it's always open by default. I think they broke something two years ago. Possibly three at this point. But having to close that every time, I just find annoying things. It's very rare that I want that menu open. Uh-oh. Is it Finia Felix? Okay. Okay, it was scaring me there, chat. It was giving me this really long load. Normally, it's pretty snappy. There we go. So we're gonna let Imperimeter make the game. I will join in. And potentially we could have, I guess, the people in the lobby if they wanna play. Or if Pasta Punk would like to play. Possibly invite Pasta Punk in. We not game with Pasta Punk before. You see the red force has arrived. Hell Green. It sounds like a Hell Green character. I'm not gonna lie. We need Hell Red, Hell Blue, Hell Yellow, or Hello. <laughs> we do angry stomps as we wait. We got everything we need to kind of delete everything. Let's take a look at where the anniversary quest is now. And imagine we're that far away from 8,000 points. Towers within 70 or so. Okay, we'll put it this way, chat. We will go on break in about 
a little under three hours. If when I return, something is not at 8,000 points, we will do some of those runs when I come back. No worries, Pasta Punk. Yeah, we'll see. I I'm going to give it a little bit of time. We, we put points in tower. In our defense, we added like 30... Well, we added more like 20 points. So it's not that we didn't help, and we're still going to add to the event right now. It's just not the one that is needed for the levels. This crater is only at 9,000, so we're just helping it hit the next category. Oh, then goes in. So we'll do uh, surface. Surface anniversary. It's called Crater. I know it is Surface. Listen, there's Surface and Underground. That's how I always remember it. It's what I always call it. It just checks out, chat. Every time. Normal heavy will kill. Normal, normal, normal will not yet. Got a happy little trap for them. I'll die. There we go. I am so dead when the Dorfon spawns, by the way, chat. I'm just, I'm embracing the, the death already, preemptively. I'm gonna get tagged by him. It's gonna be so sad. I'm gonna play pretty aggressively here. Although, I guess if I want to live, I could probably just Twin Blaze here and survive. Ooh, Charge Vulcan. Hmm. That was nice damage. You see that, chat? That was like 5k. What was that? Like, on average, a little above 1500 damage on the charge? It's kind of nasty after the debuff. Also, I should probably go pick up those materials. Am I out of space? What am I holding that? Oh, two more guns. I would explain it. Alright, drop one of these. I don't have an HP material at all. Our escape doll. So we can put away our gold badge and bronze badges, but I'm still gonna have too much things to do here. I guess I could put away my charge ray gun for the run so I can hold more weapons. But I definitely use Jaya, I use Diska. I guess I don't use red handgun in this run. I'm not doing a boss run. The sad part of anniversary event, trying to figure out what weapons to put away. Uh, I am gonna be in danger in a second, so why don't I Twin Blaze preemptively into a Charge Vulcan? Ooh. See how close that was? <laughs> it's like, that's why we move. See, that was experience with the run. Like, I knew the Dorfon was coming, and I'm like, oh boy, I better move. So fortunately, regardless if the Lingering Gafoe hit him, I put a Twin Blaze out to interrupt him. I am sad I'm leaving those escape dolls behind, but I really can't hold them with too many items. Including gold badges. So we'll do this for... Let's say five runs, just to be fair, because the run itself is not super long. Maybe six. And we'll switch up what we're doing. That way we get, like, an honest attempt at getting something that is decent from here.
I love walking up behind him and shooting him. I'm so, I'm so lucky. I should have died there. I say I don't trust where the door font is looking. I wish I could. Okay, big chance of cannon rouge here. Hopefully one of us gets it. Bad, not bad. Oh, that heal was so clutch. Probably would have died there normally. I missed by fourteen health. It's so sad. Unfortunately for them, I'm now invincible. Fine. Look at that, Chad. That's how you know if I had been at max ATP, that would have killed. So sad. So many items Chad just picked up. I think this is the rude one where they just immediately hit me, so I'm gonna walk backwards and confuse them. So far, we're... We've seen zero Dorfana Claire's. I almost feel like having a joke stream where we just go until we see Dorfana Claire. Just due to how infrequently we've seen them so far. Just go Brain Man with no hit. That's disappointing. Okay, I'm just gonna say no to this wave. Goodbye. Cannon Rouge found. <laughs> if you want to see Dwarf out of Claire, you gotta go beyond the horizon. That's funny. Sadly, that is true, but that is also funny. Or we'll do black paper deals. That, that one's also funny to say. But yeah, just 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 go fight the Dwarf out of Claire there. It's fine. You can see it. Won't get anything from it, but you'll see it. Getting trolled in real time. Should do some big damage. Ooh. Got hit by the fireball early, so I couldn't get a good lock on it. It's annoying. Oh well, check kill the rest. Should be a big turn for me. That side just got eliminated. <laughs> I am really surprised that didn't kill me. I'll be real with you. So I guess what I learned is I can still be way more aggressive with traps if we're just doing surface. I think I treated this too similarly to a normal run. I, I should be ending with potentially zero. There's, there's a few waves I definitely could have freeze trapped for sure. But I think I was in like, oh, I gotta save some for later. And then I'm like, wait, there is no later in this one. Ouch. Definitely gonna deposit some items since we are overflowing. Yeah, we're always gonna leave at least one bronze and silver on our characters just so that we don't have to constantly worry about picking up junk and then getting locked out of badges, but I do want to put a majority of this away. First, let's put away our important items for other runs. 
don't need the LNK for this. Twin Blaze is debatable. I don't need Red Handgun. That's two. I could put away my gun. My regular handgun. That should be fine. Keep in mind we just burned 90. How many batches am I up to just after that? Yeah, the, that makes sense. I'm back up to 16 and 22. What am I doing health-wise? I have enough mana mates. Or die mates in it. Should be fine. We're gonna live dangerously. So I know I'm going to level this quest so I can play ultra aggressive with, with many, many different free traps. There we go. So congratulations again to Dango for the can of rouge. To say Dango living large at the moment. B502, Cannon Rouge. Yeah, step after step out after this one. Fair. Dango's profiting. So if there's somebody that would like to take Dango's place, he is graciously offering to uh, Forgo his slot in the party. Yeah, now that I know I'm 100% leveling in this quest, I can play this extremely aggressively with free traps. Oh, I miss shooting my trap. Well. The normal power power kills right now with you cast. That's kind of insane. <laughs> Universe telling him to make a raw cast. Kind of true. See, it's the stepping stone. You go from Humor to Hugh cast. Then you become raw cast. The circle is complete after that. It checks out. Now we're going to put down one free strap for the group. Step down this wave a little harder. Uh, they're kind of grouped together. I think I prefer them to be frozen. Yeah. Bye, boss. Oh, actually, I should not walk by primates. I should pick those up. Escape dolls back if I want it. Nice. Oops. Oh, why I turned around. But at this point, I should level in this room, I'm pretty sure. Each one's a thousand, then I gotta kill two dwarf bombs. Should level me right at the two dwarf on mark. I twin blaze once. Comes my level up. Right on time. I'm like, why yes, I would like more damage. <laughs> right chat? More. 
So now I'm only four levels away from Red Ring. So we're going towards getting bonus XP for next session time. Del Rappy, huh? Thought you die. Jaya, Jaya. Out of here. Okay, we're seeing what happens when we get aggressive with freeze traps. We could shut down so many waves. It's so funny. That's not what I wanted to aim at, but we'll take it. I'm not picking those up. Get out of here. Terrible item. Ouch. I've been lasered. I've been run over. You're really gonna force me to heal. Bad enemy. Bad enemy. He was hunting me down, Chad. I think he was going for round two on me. Laser into charge was very rude. I can take like one or two hits. I don't care about that. I would hit him there. Oh, I'm being I'm being healed by the force. Yeah, just to be clear, I wasn't yelling at the forest. I was more just upset at the, the stupid Dorfon targeting me twice. He targets once, I don't have to like bother with the trimate. But he 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 forced my hand there. Gladly take some healing here, I think. Interrupted my killing blow. So sad. Killed the dwarf on here. Pick up some spare healings in case I get tagged by laser again. Okay, I no longer need to reshop at this point, and I have a star. Yeah. We're looking pretty good, and I picked up another moon. Even better. Ouch. It's out of range. Of is. That is so awkward. I can't hit him. There we go. The double freeze. Dango and I were like, mm mm. I don't think so. There we go. This time, backed up preemptively. Good call. Goodbye, satellite birds. Angle will have to report it and tell us how he feels about the Hue cast. Already 135. More help than some players have going into uh, the other areas. 
And definitely TTF material HP. Take two pity die mates. And a twin blaze. Solid. My escape dolls back, so I can put two back in the normal bag. I do need them when I play other difficulties, slash uh, other areas. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, we'll do a little check closer to 7.30 when we resume streams. Well, approximately 7.30. I want to get your hopes up. I still got to eat and do other things. And we'll see where the final quests are for the next milestone. I was going to say, Dangle, if you want to power level a rock ass, at some point in the future, too. You have a 134 rock cast. Nice, nice. So we'll have to figure out who is going to be involved, because Hellcleave will potentially carry. He's going to loan me a Hell Needle. I'm probably going to play a character with decently high accuracy, so it's either going to be rock casts or Ramar. Definitely not going to be Ramar. Technically, I could do the Rock to Seal, who's more accuracy, if I want to make a big ID. But I think it would be easier to solo pink ID with her. Although maybe it's easier to solo with Ramar. Because it gets more base accuracy. Mm. Bear bear, please. There you go. What a game name. We'll do. Say three more. So I believe Dango was offering to step out if somebody wanted to hop in. White ID, pretty good ID. I think the problem is I already have too many white ID characters. Although, <laughs> having more forms of white ID is, I guess, not terrible. Sometimes you just want a raw cast. Sure, Marco, if you'd like to hop in. Character is very gradually getting closer to leveling again. Music died. One second. Rip music. I know there's a lot of songs left because we're only going 10 minutes at a time. There we go. Why, Babuda? Yeah, I feel it's very likely at least three of the remaining ones will be like boost to experience, rare enemy, drop rate, rare rate. To kind of make it even with like 200%, I imagine. But I'm not sure what the final rewards will be. If they'll just continue to go higher or be unique. 
I, re I still remember back in the early anniversaries. It was like if you participated in enough anniversary quests, you would have gotten a photon sphere. I remember those. I wonder if that is how I got my first photon sphere. Yeah, some of the early events were really crazy. If I'd started like a year prior, I probably would have had like super broken equipment compared to where I'm at now. Here, um... Lames used to be handed out like candy. Yeah, I wish I. I don't, I don't think I ever got anything else. I don't think I got anything crazy other than maybe Photon Sphere. I think I missed like the super early stuff. Like, technically, I had chances of getting like Seal J Sword with it and other things. But like, it just it didn't happen when I played. Yeah, you can still look back in the wiki for, like, the older stuff. You can see, like, how much they've nerfed the anniversary event. Like, it... There's some quality of life changes that happen in between, don't get me wrong, but, like, the sheer ridiculousness of some of the, uh, shop items. Definitely look at, like, the second and third year compared to, like, even three years later. Let alone the current ninth year anniversary. that's the beauty of dwarf on desync some people can hit him for me he was like off screen on the laser gates like yeah he's, he's not coming back for me I 
always got to make sure we kill the zoo. We'll put some freeze drops down, don't get me wrong, but that zoo hitting the forest is very annoying. I feel for the forest in that scenario. <laughs> like, I hate when you get your Gafoe loops knocked out. Some, like, dumb zoo. That's the problem when I'm on this side. Can't shoot him easy. But sometimes he gets bonked and then he'll just go up immediately instead of landing. If he lands, then it's easy. To buy everything on this side. I'm gonna take a safety heal. Oh no, PC crash? Sorry to hear. Ripping parameter. Oh boy. <laughs> well, on the plus side, they really want to fight in parameter. In blaze time. I mean, a parameter is being the best decoy of all time. But sorry to hear the PC crash. They're really trying to kill you on my screen, a parameter. It's actually insane. Get out of here, Dorfon. Rip and parameter. Hmm. I guess I'll offer it up to the chat. Did you want to switch run? Or did you want me to host again? So we could continue the runs? Sure, if you'd like to hop in remote or with, the, with the red forest, that's fine. Character's getting so much XP. I love it. Okay. Look at the event updates while we wait. You're sitting at... Almost 8k for everything. Honestly, we might give a little bump to tower at this rate later on. It's still sitting at 7932. It's actually really close. But we'll, we'll do a couple of these runs first. <laughs> Alright, let's do three from here now that we have a different team. So we'll switch runs. But if you'd like to do something specifically after this, let me know. I'm gonna reserve... I'm gonna say at least 50 minutes to another chat request. If there's something you want to hunt, I'm gonna make sure that we get a chance to do it. And then we'll probably do like four TTFs if I had to guess. So that will be kind of regardless. But it's looking very likely we will assist with the anniversary stuff later on today, which is fine. Because even if we overpoint tower, I mean, it still goes towards the running total to getting it to 9,000 for next time. So sadly, still no Cannon Rouge. Rip Cannon Rouge. Yeah, so far Hugh Cast feels like one of my wow. best characters. Wow, indeed. Where I feel like he can actually legit carry runs. There's a few characters I think are decent, but I don't think they're gonna like hard carry by themselves. I think he's one of them, where I think he's just at the point where I feel he could combo kill anything with a buff, and then he has traps, which shut down everything. So I'm definitely feeling the Hugh cast power.
The fact I could do stuff like this, and it just one-shots like the entire crowd is kind of crazy. Like, what was that, a 1500 crit? Actually insane. We still have yet to see his final form. I mean, he still, he still even have Red Ring. It's like another 100 ATP to go at least. Before he's capped. Already feels like so much better. Welcome, Bombsol. Hope you're doing well. I love that he has so much ATP, it's like he is solo levels of ATP by himself too. So even in, even in single player, like 1600, that's a, that's a lot, chat. I mean, I still feel like how it ATPs the Ramar, right? With level 15 shifter. I mean, obviously Ramar has like solid items, don't get me wrong. Like he has uh, good weapons to choose from. Etc. But sometimes when you just want to disco brave man things out of existence, it just works. Thank you for using some crap. Also, I should heal. He missed me, which is good. But he did force the heal. Perfect. I'm up to five trimates again. It's not too bad. will be one of the last three that we do for a while. Did I see my images one night morning? Uh... I think I saw that you got Psycho Wong. Congratulations to game. Nothing crazy drops so far for me. Yesterday was pretty good for the team, though. The high hit caliber. I'm gonna twin blaze for sure here, so I don't get murdered. That is a cluster of dead Dwarfons. Rip Dwarfon. <laughs> I'm kind of at the point where if I don't see something by Sunday, I'm be like, no more bonus streams. I don't feel like I've really been paid off, sadly, for it. 
Schaden werden. Damn, that's gonna cost another try, man. Fortunate. Yes, my, my only real goal left in the event is already almost done, where I just want to hit 180 with uh, the two characters I had red rings for. That goal will be met at this point. I was going to say, I don't know how Cleave does it. I just... Yeah, I was going to say... Becomes disheartening for sure. I mean, they did fix the drops a little bit since we started the event. But it's like, man. I kind of want to sit, like, like, oh boy, I got a 15 hit disco brain, man. Like, I'm not really excited for that. I don't even think I want to pick it up. I still think it's worth it. I wouldn't even give that to new players, it's just too low. Rolling like dead men hit. Not worth it. Yeah. I mean, we got a red ring, but we could get red ring like anytime. I was kind of hoping for more like interesting drops. Aside from that, I think just L and K with hit was our biggest one. I don't think I missed anything. We got a couple of V501s, but those are not like. Those are not reasons to play the anniversary event. Those are like the. I feel sad we didn't find anything else. But at least it's something. Oh well. Let's go with no hit. Of course. I'm in a weird spot. You know what? I'm gonna confuse trap them. Screw this. Yeah, because, I mean, we're going for, like, uh, of the quote-unquote power six, I've gotten an, a, a decent-ish frozen shooter. We have a... Still looking for a Galatine, a Lame to Argent, and a Rouge. I'm kind of hoping we see one of those for personal drops at some point. Probably have enough to do another run without going back. So I guess I'll leave it up to the chat. Once we do two more of these runs, if you want to do Heaven Striker, Lame to Argent, Galatine, uh, uh, something in Temple, I think any of those are fine. And then we'll conclude with, uh, I think, TTF before I go on food break. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's actively doing tower. We might end up bumping that up after the break. What's the fastest way to get L and K38? Um, I don't know. I've not really thought about it. I mean, I've been enjoying CCA, honestly, like the Hell Cleave route with Yellow Boss. Technically, you could get incidental L and Ks by doing caves. But do I really want to just reset for that? Probably not. It's, a, it's, a, it's pretty inconsistent with Pazuzu. I think Miracle is actually fine for drop rates.
You're not you're not really gonna do it for Barbara Unless you're really desperate. I, I don't really think Viridian's a good ID for uh RT. <laughs> I'm gonna even caution that in the section ID guide. I mean they they literally get LNK and then like nothing else. Like it is it is the most dead of drops. You're not gonna get any interesting like Yun Changs or anything like that from most enemies. And they have the really bad Psycho 1 drop. I just feel like you would get more value in RT from blue and yellow, or even arguably orange. I don't even think orange is like super great. Yeah, I would say during the event, probably, uh, probably yellow CCA. I, I don't see why you would do RT resets for it. Like, technically doable. I would say it's like a standalone run if you were really bored. There is like the VR quest in Viridian outside of RT if you really just wanted to focus on Viridian strength. But like, I I'm definitely not taking uh, LNK combat over Galatine chances on Yellow Bobs, where they're ridiculously good drops from boxes. Oh, I left some materials behind. Oh well. We've gotten so many in this event, I don't think it'll matter. I think we're already up to almost 50 from this week. Let alone the 30 or 40 I put away from earlier. But yeah, if chat also just wants a V502 chance again, I don't mind doing more tower if chat wants. But I think the options for chat to decide are tower, CCA, desert, either heaven striker or lame. We're full clear of this one twice. I think that would be fair. We'll leave it to the people playing with what they want. Honestly, I'm just going for like anything. I feel like I haven't seen that much. The most success I think we had so far was probably help leave CCA. Yeah, I mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. I did not really participate in ABR the last year it was used in the anniversary event. Because I, I just didn't want to do a lot of the areas. Like, I'm definitely stronger than I was two years ago. Heaven Strikers, yeah, we could do those. Probably just gonna keep using this character if we do that. And that'll possibly level me again, which is crazy. So almost at the personal goal for the event. We even played characters I didn't even think I would touch, like Humor. I'm half wondering if I should re-roll the Humor's uh, ID. Cannon Rouge.
switch. I didn't get to switch to Twin Blaze in time. Unfortunate. So high. Watching the scavenging going on. Oh, not gonna buff first. Uh oh. Interesting. There we go. Hmm. Probably I'm thinking about it more. I probably want to have a character bank of just Hugh Cast. I can have a character bank of just Raw Cast. I don't think I want one of every ID, to be honest. I don't think Hunters are really fun to play as in most IDs. It's like... I'm gonna have ones that will potentially do Episode 4, right? And those will be potentially the raw cast. But, like... Outside of what I'm doing now, do I really want to do, like, solo boss stuff with this character? Not really. So I feel like there's gonna be IDs where I'm just gonna ignore it. I scan a Rouge. I feel like the Hue cast. I probably want a Hue cast for basically every single uh, ETF ID, and then that they will incidentally be able to go to other areas. And then I think I probably want orange, viridian, yellow, blue, and that's about it for raw cast. With the intent being that they're going to be doing a lot of RT. And then if I have a spare ID, which I think I would because I already have a yellow raw cast, I would put one... Something I think I could safely clear is raw cast. Could be another TTF ID. Although technically it would have a Viridian anyway, so I would always have a ETF ID. I'll think about it. I'll probably update this section guide to say that like raw cast should be episode two boss rush. You cast can be almost anything. I'm almost willing to say they could do anything. I don't know if I would like them in some solo episode four stuff, but I think they're so strong that if you hosted, it wouldn't matter. Kinds of things. I think there's less discrepancy with it. I don't want to do one where it requires a lot of hell usage, but he also has so much ATP that he's also able to just kind of bully. Like, he could do CCA without hell because he just does so much damage. Just like I think he could probably just do Seabed without hell because his damage is so high. I think he's kind of like the outlier. Like, other characters would have to care about hell. He would still struggle a little bit with things like Del Def, but unlike other hunters, he would have freeze traps. An accuracy, like arguably maybe the Hugh Seal would be a bit better there. It'd actually hit things like the Del Dep. That was a lot of healing I just picked up at the end, by the way. I don't think I need to go back for healing anymore. Yeah, I don't. Nice. We'll do one more. What did I write? Let's see if I agree with what I wrote earlier. We got some time. Oh, I'm relabeled the values. I'm gonna call them the power six, the common three, the big paydays. I don't. I wanna call it the consistent something, and then the mini paydays to break down the values. I think most of the items I think I missed in the primary and secondary hunts are cleared. 
think at this point I'm just looking over... I'm gonna say raw cast. Any episode... One... Two... I feel like he's so good he could just do any boss rush by himself and he's probably fine. Make sure the Hue cast is something similar. a little bit to be more clear yeah i ended up separating out what i considered like the quote-unquote boss rush ids because I, I do think people ask that as like a genuine question like what is the best id for episode one or episode two episode four i think separating that into its own searchable section and then referencing it elsewhere makes more sense there's just little things i'm looking to touch up to just make it as useful as possible as we prep for the guide if I full screen it, it's like 81 pages. Most of it is just lists. Most of the actual like detail heavy stuff is in the beginning. The rest are just like, these are the items you could get with this one in this area. Just in case you want to do a comparison per area. Their site is down or whatever. We're just, in general, looking to trim out the dozens of items. I think it's also kind of hard to tell sometimes for things like Tower and Seabed, or even to some extent Episode 4, just, like, how many rares you can get, unless you're, like, actively flipping between, like, okay, where where is the zoo drop? Like, what's the zoo drop here? What's Pazuzu drop? What's the Yaoi versus Satellite Lizard? I think having that as one list also helps a little bit with information gathering. So anyway, that's the intent of that. We'll see if it gets used that way. I know, for example, I've been writing out a lot of quests in there, since I think section ID is just so heavily tied into useful quests. So we'll be giving out general recommendations on quests. And then we'll talk about, like, in a high level, like, which ones are, like, high value. Because there's quests that are good for the ID, but then there's, like, ones that are just good for value. You know, not everything is on the same league as, like, a Terrell's Ego White ID. I'm gonna bring that quest up, because that quest is silly. Um, but, you know, there's some more niche hunts. Like, Orange ID has, like, some potentially favorable anniversary event runs for Daylight Scar. Or, like, it's potentially decent if you're doing Episode 4. And talking about how, like, certain areas are kind of lackluster. Which is unfortunate. I guess I should probably have an orange ID cast at some point. So I could make that a raw cast. Because I wouldn't mind episode 4 with him or episode 2. And orange is probably one of the least used IDs. But I still think I would have fun with it with the uh, major. That almost hit me. Thank you, Twin Blaze. I don't know, like, it, is it a hot take to say that, like, Viridian Episode 2 is just bad for boss rush? 
Because I, I always see in, like, the Ifinia forums as well as in the official wiki, they're always like, oh, I could get parasitic gene flow. And I'm like, that that's literally all that gets in LNK. That's it. Like, I, I don't know. I view it as, like, I think the worst. I have to double check orange drops. Because we so rarely do it. Because blue and yellow are just so full of value. Uh, but yeah, I, I was not impressed last time I looked. Yeah, if, if it didn't have, like, a strong temple, I would say it's, like, pretty much a dead idea. The CCA is really, really, really bad for Viridian. Like, it is, like, actually just trash. Their seabed is okay, at least. Like, but everybody's seabed is okay. So, like, if that's the only defining factor, I also am not really impressed with that. Like, congratulations, multiple people can get Yun Chang, but they get Yun Chang with other things. And if you want Yun Chang or a Zamba potentially with uh, Cycle 1, then you would just play Blue ID, right? And I feel like just getting an off chance Jaya is more interesting. And going for LNK combat, unless this is a point where you're really desperate for it. Because I think it's just a better hunt in TTF. Or arguably, uh, Yellow ID CCA event was a lot of fun. I actually liked it there as well. Let's kill this guy. Nice. Fun. Oh, and the laser. It almost has me looking again. Like, did I miss something? Like, actually, let me move closer in case they're doing buffs. Yeah, Viridian episode two. Aside from. Parasitic Gene Flow gets Rika's Claw, Stink Frame, Yun Chang. Get V501 from Barrel, which I don't think shows up in that run. Aw. Oh. <laughs> in my defense, the graphic didn't look. So yeah, like, I'll, I'll give them that. Like, their Temple and their Seabed are fine, but they, they by far have the worst CCA. It's not even a contest. I think they traded it in for having a temple that gives Frozen Shooter, I guess in theory. You want to do like those five chances for Frozen Shooter in RT, it's not the worst thing, I guess. Oh no. I'm going to take a look at how many enemies are there and see if it's worth bumping above or below orange ID. But right now, I don't think there's a world in which I would rate it above yellow. Probably not blue. I think it's worth reinvestigating biases. I, I just remember not enjoying it that much. Alright, well, the music is switching. Do this, pause, and pause. Okay, so we're almost on our final run. Conclusion that is. Come on, last chance. A can of rouges. Absolutely brutal. Did you bronze badge me on a Zabuda? Did you just hear it? Did you do that? That was mean. That was just mean. Can't even blame the anniversary event. Just nope. Just, just, you will get trash and you will like it. Oh, yeah, definitely big up in the chat for that cannon rouge that wasn't.
pretty quick. I think we'll move on to Heaven Striker ID. So we'll probably do... I guess it's technically up to the chat if you wanted to do a full run versus do just desert for more focus. <laughs> In theory, Dorfana Claire will show up one day. In practice, I still have not seen this this monster. I'm not convinced it exists anymore. <laughs> right, chat? One day. One day we'll see it and acknowledge it. Day is probably not that day. Well, I am definitely going to grab some healing from this area. So either way, I think I'm stocked up enough for one run. And nine diamates is more than good enough up all these random grinders for later. So presumably we would have a green ID make the game. I think Kaiser was green. ID surface is okay. It's it's definitely on the weaker end, but then it potentially leads into a Galatine. Kind of the trade-off where they just they only have interesting things on like Dwarf on Declare and Zoo. Oh you have pink, my bad. Pump out if someone wants to tack in. Oh, is there anybody that would like to take remote's place? Uh, Marco is the green. My bad. Marco can go ahead and make the game. We'll join briefly. Oh, Hellcleave would like to hop in. Hellcleave would like to know your location. Okay, so we have a raw cast. I could potentially bring a hue cast. I guess we could do... 50 hit disc of Rayman, nice. I guess we could start with desert. Just by itself. And then if we want to do a full run afterwards, that's fine. So let's wait for help, please. I'm gonna put away the many, many badges that I have. There's a very strong possibility I'm gonna level as long as I keep using this character. A curiosity, how many power materials am I up to? Am I above 50 now? I am 58. Well, I don't know how Eve is looking for those uh, Heaven Strikers. I guess if actually if Hellcleave is going to sponsor potentially, we could do uh, what is it called? Do Mop Up Operation Three instead. That's worth more XP and it's better for Heaven Striker. Let's do new mop up three. Honestly, desert is enough love. I think we're good. We'll just wait a little bit. Sort our inventory. Guess if I have time, I could chop. A 1k gamble just for him. Oh, inventory full. Can't get wrecked. I 
nothing of interest in the shop, so I'll go back to the uh, entrance. So yeah, let's do uh, new mop up operation three actually. I, I, the desert event has enough plays. <laughs> I think it's already at like eighteen thousand. It doesn't need more. This will also result in a lot, a lot of XP. It just makes the future hunts way easier. So let's go until about 5 o'clock with these runs, and then we'll end with TTF. I feel like that's fair. Dodge the gun, like damn. Thank you for the D band. That's kind of a waste of a giant. Should have held on to it. Oh well. I guess in some ways, I actually like Hugh Cast more than Rock Cast in Episode 4. The only thing I think he can't really do is the boss, unless there's some kind of secret weapon that I don't know about to hit consistently. We were talking about before, like you have Slicer... Or excuse me, you have Rainbow Baton for range, but I don't know if there's a way to consistently hit it. So while I think he kills like non-Episode 4 boss enemies extremely quickly, I don't know if I like him for the boss itself. Dodge this. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I'm rooting for Hellcleave. We do it, Hellcleave. Oops, I got slapped out of my trap. That was interesting. Such a timely heal. Nice. What time drop? I should probably. Thank you, who casts ridiculous HP. I say this is definitely one of the quests for sure. I don't like low HP. Clean these up and then I'm gonna prepare for the place I need to be at. The freeze trap here, I think. Yeah. That is not Majaya. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm ready to partisan them. I was like, no. Fumbled on the controls. I'm gonna freeze that for the chat. I'm gonna bully these enemies. There we go. Yeah, if I get for the, if I target the ones that are furthest away, it'll save us some time. 
just because Hell Cleave just physically cannot hit those targets. There we go. Shut down the weights. Nine freeze traps left, yeah. Should be good, I don't need to stock up again. I'm gonna restock next time I get a healing circle, but not this one. So I'm gonna hit 177 today for sure. So getting super close to the point where I get to see this character's true potential. So he's already combo killing everything, but 5% more accuracy does remove some of the inconsistency with this charge Vulcan, because some enemies I can hit without freeze, like 90% of the time, some I can't. And definitely if I'm playing anything in episode 2, I need all the accuracy I can get. Far back, I think. That's okay. It worked. To bully them evenly. There we go. Another photon drop, huh? Well, I guess if I just want to purchase a challenge mode weapon, I think we got enough that I could just straight up do that. It's going to be Satellite Lizards and then Problem Enemy after this. I'm going to go ahead and Confuse Trap and then I'm going to linger towards the upper portion. Because again, the Riffo is more likely to miss. Say I'm running on ahead. I'm not waiting for items. Picked up my PDs. Have the Rappies fight each other. Gonna try to pump out as many freeze traps as possible, knowing we're gonna reset them in a room. Okay, just wanted to make sure those boxes actually got popped. <laughs> Put a fire trap above them and then shot them. Time to get my freeze traps back. Oh, 
I don't even think that was my freeze trap. I think it was just Rivarda wrecking that entire wave. It's kind of funny. Rivarda OP, please nerf. Almost forgot about the zoo. Almost. <laughs> he teleported into Helcles Rivarda. That was brutal. I just immediately froze. Bully them a little. There we go. Yeah, still has 16 traps. You're definitely not gonna... Okay, I'm, I refuse to get Kongood. <laughs> I took a step back that time. I will not get Kongood again. Get out of here. Stupid enemy room. Let chat kill that. I'm gonna put a freeze trap down here. Then walk a free strap back over here, and this should be good enough. Then after this wave, I want to be down here-ish. I can deal with the Grand Detonators, and then the rest of the free traps are just kind of whatever I want. No rhyme or reason. Just want to make sure I have one for this one. Nice. Just D with hit. Get out of here. Alright, so now my free straps generally don't matter. I only really need two for the final room, because I'm going to go for the Grand Detonators that are really far back. I think for the most part, we've been able to lock them down extremely well. Dusty, don't care about. Yeah, like, we could in theory restock here, but... I know there's only gonna be, like, 12 waves, and most of them aren't worth it. Just see with hit game, please. Save that for the Heaven Striker, please. All right, child. I don't, I don't think anybody would be upset at a 30 hit Heaven Striker. I'm just saying. Totally skippable. I have nine for the final room. I only really expect to use five or six. should be basically GG. Then it's going to be satellite lizards on the first wave anyway, which I don't even freeze trap. I'm going to do some drive-by freezes I can. I could do stuff like this maybe. Trap, use trap. Making them up a little. Seems going to take care of that. I'm going to walk forward. I'm going to try to freeze trap preemptively here maybe. Ooh, I was so close. I was so close to where I wanted to be. And it still worked. There we go. At least I have, like, a good visual indicator of where to be. That's kind of nice. I'm so getting lasered. There's nothing I could do about that. The Goron lined up with the zoo. You're gonna lined up. Game, please. So we're gonna push back a little further. 
Oh, that actually leveled me. Not expecting that. Four chesties with hit to troll me. Thanks, PSO. I'm glad we got 20, 15, and 10 hit. Come on, give us a 5 hit. You know you want to. Uh, joke's on you, Goron Detonator. So if I play really far up, I can help the team a little bit. I don't really want to deal with the Satellite Lizards. I'd rather deal with them. I think I gotta be it here. Is it here over there? Over here. Kind of both. The Grand Detonator is completely out of the fight. Gotta go back for those random badges, though. Or even were they? There's one. Oh, it's like way back here. That kind of sucks. Dimate. How many healing did I use? Not oh, just three dimates. Yeah, I think as long as I'm like near the healers, <laughs> I'll just kind of get incidentally healed. I take the warp out for sure. What's my PD total at? 63? I picked up that many this week? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I think that's accurate. Wow. I mean, I guess I have been getting a lot of them. Oh. I guess I can take escape doll, leave escape doll. Rip escape doll. Yeah, I kind of wish some of those were rares, but that's fine. I guess I can afford some supplemental units for my characters, like another V502, when I inevitably don't find one during the event. So we can get at least two more runs in easy. <laughs> I'll be like, Hellcleave, I got PDs for the next order. Sure, you can keep an eye out. <laughs> I don't know what it should be named. I think if there's an option to name it, I think chat should name it. Otherwise, I'll take a generic one and chat will still name their first one when we do challenge mode. up with the name soonish. I was gonna say it's up to chat. Otherwise I'll probably make them horrible puns. Probably name at least one of them like House Arrest if it's Paralysis. Get out of here, random enemies. Have to be put on on the spot. True. That's why I'm saying it might not matter. If there's just a floating hell needle, it's a hell needle.
Get it here, Goron Detonator. Such a greedy Disca. That bailed me out on that one. It was like max greed. I went down to like 100 health in the fire room. Lots of people finding the Nug 2000 bazookas. We'll probably do a little, a little, I don't know, poll? Maybe it'll be in voting. That way we can have it for the future, even if it's not used on this upcoming purchase. Out of interest. I figured I'd give the box check. Just one time prove its usefulness, but alas, here we are. Not needed in this run anyway. Let's go over here. Now I'm needed. Silly room. If we have a Humar weapon, we'll call it the Dango. If we ever got a scythe, it would be <laughs> it would be the Hell Cleave. Here, I'm rid of these. I still have. Quite a few left. The freeze traps, so I don't need to do it in this next area. Vader has found Galatine with 25 hit. Nice. Poor Synchro. Rip Synchro. Pretty far up. Near him. Even chat behind. Let's go. Coming towards me. Please. Now perish. Dude, I feel like for the most part I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a Hugh cast. Just. I eventually should learn to take even more risks to get more comfortable with him and start actively integrating Dark Flow in certain rooms. But he's also, on the flip side, so strong that he's legit still combo killing and we have not hit his potential. Like I would have said earlier, I don't think it's that great. Oof, just a zero hit to skip right, man. Yeah. With 13, he's able to kind of do whatever he wants. It gives him that little bit of accuracy that he needs. Pretty happy with everything else he has. 
question. How much does he need for accuracy right now? 187 versus 191. Red first screen is just discovery. I meant versus. I'm not sure where that comment came from. I don't think I was talking about section ID. I was more talking about um, weapons usage on QCAS. I mean, Hellcleave's right, but... Get rid of these. Let's see, I think... We could probably leave a vice on him, right? To get faster draining. I have Lava's Cannon if I need it. I probably would use Gyrasol instead. It wouldn't be bad to get a decent Gyrasol in case I need to attack with it. It is kind of unfortunate that Twin Blaze and Gyrasol share the same kind of properties where they're both multi-hit weapons. Or single target multi hits. It feels like I just have a lot of items in my inventory. I guess I can make judgment calls whether or not I need Dark Flow. It'd be interesting if there's strategies where if I get low on purpose for like a seabed Dell depth, if I'm able to just straight up one shot them or something. I gotta learn how to do some of that tech. I think I saw before people were getting like the near insta kills versus them. I think learning something like that would also step the game up for these characters. Uh, well, I'm definitely restocking no matter what after this. Like we're just all throwing freeze traps. We're like, yeah, we're resetting. Not even gonna bother hiding it. Like, yeah, it's gonna happen. Oh, 1554 ATP. Be nice. It'll be nice for him to finally hit, like, 1100 or 1200 defense with D-Band. So I could finally just basically ignore every enemy while berserking on early areas. Because right now he can still get damaged in Endless. Like, no. Needs to be tankier. Nice little cleanup. Bop, bop, bop. Definitely want to freeze. We're going to walk them towards the freeze trap. Yeah. And set it off themselves as it was nice. <clears throat> and then we'll do some giant. Yeah, we could probably do two more at the rate that we're clearing the quest. Hey, help, we found a Heaven Striker. Congratulations, hopefully. Oof, all zero. Fortunate. I'm not even gonna freeze you. I think I'm actually gonna have you fight to the death. I think there's enough of you, and chat is so far behind. Might as well do that. Okay, so we're gonna put a freeze trap here. Oops spawn just as I was about to place it. That's a little unfortunate. And I got hit by one of them that teleported. That's just not fair. Didn't even cause them to teleport. And I trolled. I wasted that freeze trap for sure. This tisk. 
So, as soon as I went to walk where the Goron Detonator was, it uh, spawned in, which was a little unlucky with timing. But then the really unfortunate thing is that the enemy furthest from me teleported straight to me and knocked me down before the freeze went off. That was very unlucky. And this is where I think if I had slightly more defense, that wouldn't happen. Cleve's keeping track. Uncle Cleve's gonna snap. It's like, that's the last PD. Ah! <laughs> He's gonna come back as like a level 200 Hugh cast. Got everything down with Vulcans. I was gonna say, I still haven't seen a Heaven Striker so far this whole event. One day. Paralysis. Nice and simple here. Ooh, I gotta be careful because the teleport. It's a shame they always teleport against Spread Needle. That's like the only downside to it. Like, well, I guess also the paralysis can be kind of goofy sometimes. But yeah. I get so scared. I'm like, oh man, they're teleporting. I don't know what's going on, uncontrolled. Because they, they generally will never teleport on a hunter unless you're using a gun. So it's like the one time the ranger gets punished in uh, the whole game. Other than maybe satellite lizards, question mark. Ooh, photon crystals, nice. Yeah, we're definitely gonna confuse trap into confuse trap into confuse trap. Let's use some fire traps, speed this up a little bit. To do that, I'm gonna set up a freeze trap. I think we saw it was here. Yeah, that was the perfect freeze trap. Look at that, I got the whole group. It wrecked. Wait, why did you aim my gun to the right if you teleported to the left? Aim, please. I'm not sure how to deal with that if I'm on this side. Because I feel like right now the Goron Detonator can crit knock me down. I think the only answer is just get Red Ring. Because I need to be able to tank a hit in order to make progress, but like I can't hit the zoo and make progress simultaneously. So, like, I can bait him with a Twin Blaze, but then I get punished really hard. I have four Freeze Traps left. Let's move forward. Do a little further forward in preparation the next wave. That's not a freeze trap that I just placed. That sucked. I did that in the wrong order, I think. Oh well. Killed one regardless. I've been missing the special that often on Yaoi. That's actually not too bad. <laughs> Music fell asleep again. Wake up music. We got stuff to do. Let's move to less peaceful sounding music. There's a lot of like, I, I wanna hear action themes. Oh, like, please. I'm gonna start skipping them if I don't start hearing action themes. We're just going like back to back to back, like peaceful music. I'm like, no, I kinda wanna. I don't want to stay awake here. I'm gonna restock.
Okay. I think we have time for one more. Then I think this is going to put me actually at 178. I'm going to level three times in one session with a character. Given how often I rotate, that's a pretty good progress. Oops. God, he needs a free slot. Ugh, anniversary event. Just want to get the money for the quest. There we go. Like, that money matters for later. I need that for TTI. try to throw as many loose freeze traps as possible. I think, generally speaking, we could see how just strong it is where we just don't even need to worry about anything. I definitely want to confuse trap this. I want to stay on this side, I think. I guess if I do the freeze trap early, it's not really a big problem overall. And the healed. Ooh. Loopful Del Rappy drop trap vision. Sounds pretty normal. I just like the ability to like, combo delete. See, this is what it feels like to have sphered gear. <laughs> like, this character is the sneak peek. Like, I could probably do this much with Hubar if he was sphered. <laughs> right? Like, to get effective health, like, plus another 300 or so. Probably do it. Oh, I'm so dead, by the way. Oh, no, I got healed. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to try to quickly die, mate. I will take that die, mate, back. I will take this die, mate, back. I will confuse trap these. I will confuse trap those. Got the pity heal. I'll take it. Oops. Got stuck. That's awkward. Be through. Put some fire traps to even out the damage a little bit. Then I could do a trap here. For this guy. that didn't kill. Put another freeze trap there. Ignore the room. Leave me alone. I'm fighting this guy. I like just straight up I just refuse to fight the power gorons. I'm going for the ones that are just like in the corners. I get out of here. trap into 
<laughs> See somebody who's not very happy with the Griffin in episode two, based on their name. How did that not kill the zoo? There we go. Aw, fuck down. Honestly, I don't even think Griffin's hard. Like, just... Just... Just Canavrouge. I mean, we've seen the boss doesn't even sometimes hit the ground anymore. Like, it, it takes off and dies. Like, that's it. I was like, the, the, the boss that I get annoyed at is, uh, what is it? Not d Barbaray. Barbara Barbara is the boss I really dislike. That boss takes forever and wastes so much time. It is legit longer than I think two or possibly even three of the episode one bosses put together in terms of completion. It's kind of insane. Like when you're just waiting there for the stupid little Barbara thing going back and forth. Holy, does that quest suck without good damage? And I think even with bad damage, I don't even think Griffin takes that long. It's kind of insane, like, how untargetable that thing is. And then it's many, many glitches, too. What a boss. And the rap ride afterwards. Honestly, the entirety of that boss fight. I don't think they have anything positive to say about it. I just hate it. I think it epitomizes what's wrong with episode 2. What a boss. Guess I turned sideways to shoot the trap. That's interesting. Exactly, Tiki. I, I hate, hate it. it. I hate it. The boss fight really is dumb. Like, it honestly. Honestly, that fight's even longer than Oga Flow. Like, that's how dumb that boss is. It's like, why is it like this? Can we not fix this? Maybe we could petition for that boss to be fixed. So it doesn't just randomly decide whether or not you can target it on the side. It should always be targetable. Like, there's no way that was vanilla behavior, that it just, like, glitch teleports. I, I don't believe it. I'd be like, I want to see the evidence. Like, I don't believe Sega playtests things, but that's ridiculous if it was left like that. It takes, like, zero meta testing to see that. Chad, I think it's gonna happen. I think we're gonna clear this quest without me seeing a Heaven Striker. It's, it's looking pretty likely, Chad. <laughs> Just get 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 ready for the soul. <laughs> Where are the rares? I've only I mean PDs are nice, but if I want PDs, I'd be playing Terrells. At least give me, like, more Photon Crystals or something. In the Japan server, that's where the rares are. Damn. Hard truth. Um... There we go, feeding the mag, slowly bringing Synchro back up. Maybe I'll just use Dolphin for no reason in one of the rooms. Ooh, media teleports. I guess because somebody shot a gun. That's kind of the, the chaoticness when you have a ranger. You're just like, 
you just have no idea what they're doing. When it's all... It, this is, like, one of the few quests where I would say, like, if we were legit all hunters, I think this quest would be easier. Not that Ranger is bad, but man, when they just teleport randomly, like, what is going on? Fortunately, at least we have multiple trap users, so we can kind of deal with that when it happens. Because I was talking about this before. Like, I actually like the Hyuka Seal for that reason, because she's able to just play any role, snipe, or paralyze, or do whatever on surface. I like Hugh Cast for Desert for similar reasons, where I feel like he could do anything he wants, and he doesn't provoke the uh, teleports. Oops. A bit unfortunate. I think I remember it was like a couple of uh, a little while back when we were trying out RBR, we had a squad of cat or of hunters basically roaming through surface. Like how easy that was compared to some of the other stuff. It's kind of funny. I should do my duty to at least kill a few of these. I'm not gonna be in the right position for this, but I could do this and lure them forward, maybe. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so if I'm not in position, that was a good backup. Thank you for waiting a little bit on the ranger shot there. That definitely helped with pulling them in. Then they got baited super hard. Like a straight away. Yeah, because all the things that like the rangers complain about when they do this quest, like think about it. Like you're like you're tired of not of swapping weapons to deal with satellite lizard. Meanwhile, hunter's like, yes, I have a reason to be a hunter. <laughs> then they're like, and I can kill Zoo, and I can bully Goron, then I can kill Gurdabulu. What a cast. Oh, I had them lined up, but it reoriented on me. Unfortunate. chat the profound sadness <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna give a salute to the quest or we end with some ttfs and i'll go on food break but i've been kind of liking this format i do feel a little tired so i don't think i'm gonna do a long thing for pso tomorrow i'll probably just do the morning but i i think i do need the longer breaks in between and i don't think it's about necessarily you know streamers getting older or anything and just in general, I think I just need that mental break from PSO. Especially when you go through, like, hours of, uh, not seeing anything. Definitely very draining. Before, I used to just break up the video and we would keep going. And then I think that led to the burnout. That happened last year. So putting, like, another hour and, like, two hours of personal time in between. It helps. I don't like that sensation of being trapped to play PSO. Like, I like the game, but... <laughs> dot dot dot. I gotta put a reasonable limit on it. Exactly. Ugly's already going and sitting. The consecutive hours build up. Where, like, I take an hour, hour and a half break, and then I'm just fine. Okay. I'm not annoyed. I don't feel, like, tired afterwards either. Nice. Oops, I was a little slow there. I deserve that. Alright, so what do I do here? Is it twin plays into this? That feels good. Maybe? Alright, so I have to literally swap Twin Blaze into that to not get hit, but I'll still get hit by that. I'll let them kill the zoo. Okay, we're gonna play very aggressively far forward. Let the team deal with these. Still a little further back than I should be, but that's fine. 
It's important that I don't let the Goron Detonator do anything. Other things hitting me, whatever. But I think if I come here... Still don't understand why he twirls sometimes and swings. I don't understand what that AI behavior is, but we'll take it. I almost killed that satellite lizard in one combo. Another moment where if I just had a little more ATP, that would have actually killed. Well, chat, uh, <laughs> no Heaven Strikers. So we're at no Heaven Strikers, no lanes, no Galatine. We did find a frozen shooter, but that was off stream. Um, I, I think that's it from the power six. Wah! No, I don't think I got anything else. It's so sad. I'm double checking. Yeah, L and K is not in there. There's something I'm forgetting. Oh, we tech. Oh, we technically got it. We technically got a daylight scar, but it was all zeroed. Technically. I guess. I mean, that's one of the ones that you kind of needed to have hit for sure. Unless it's just going on Hugh Kassil or something. Hold again. Get rid of the escape doll. Alright, I'm ready to take this out on falls for like three runs. <laughs> Okay, so I have Sky, but I probably prefer... Honestly, red ID, green ID is fine. Green's also fine. Maybe we'll have Marco Hose. Elk Leave offering up a TTF spot. Yeah, I think I was kind of going back and forth with my, my ratings. I still think Sky's probably one of the weaker... ETF IDs. Green fell a bit when it lost V101. It used to be like what I would consider number two to Viridian, but honestly, I think red might be a little better now. Like, it still has the advantage of technically getting off chance frozen shooters. But it is what it is. Anything will be an improvement over Sky, I think. Unless I'm going specifically for something in caves or something wonky. So who would like to jump in for the TTF runs? So yeah, very, very sad. No, no drops today. But people in the stream have been getting some nice things. So it's good to see somebody got that 80 hit caliber the other day. We did some tower. We, d we did tower on the uh, quest clear. And it's still not even max. So if we come back from break and something is not at 8,000, I think we'll begin this session with uh, playing some of those. So it looks like the only things not at 8,000 currently are tower, seabed, and the atrocities. And I, I was fine with atrocity too. I'd have to replay atrocity one to see how I feel about it in long term. But I think treating it as like a purple ID kind of helped improve the image of what you want to do with it. Or I just kind of viewed it as a lot of vice chances. Like, is it as strong or as fast as what we were doing in Mines, for example? No. But it was a lot more experience. Which sometimes, when all you care about experience, like for me, for example, because I just don't expect to get rares, I want that experience, chat. I want that experience so bad. I don't know why I got so scared. I was like, I know they're not gonna hit me from there. Oh, I just realized, I made a mistake. I gotta go back for something. Oops. I did not have so many items. I don't think I need the red handgun, but I do need the LNK. Sorry about that.
I need something for falls. I, I can live with other choices. I can even choose to shoot the spinners with something other than ray guns. But I don't want to be able to not hit falls. Okay, let's see if we get the glitch. <laughs> Try popping them with Diska. I'm sure it'd be hard. Here we go. Partial glitch. Now perish. So I think if I hold it here, I think I'm lined up with the warp. Almost. You get a good head start, though. Um. Hmm. I don't have a good weapon for a slime dupes. I guess I could Jaya, because that's faster. I'm gonna summon you. Go one, two, three. Okay, duping enabled. Don't worry about it, team. You can move on. I got it. And I'm gonna kill you instantly by putting a trap here. And I'm gonna count to three. One. Oh! Rare Lily. What? Not expecting that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> also, I felt like they spawned faster than usual. Hmm. Usually there's a bit of a delay. Oh, I'm s so lucky they didn't aim at me. Um, usually there's a bit more of a delay, because we, we usually have to count to three, where if I don't count to three, the freeze trap will actually just time out. But that was, like, pretty fast. Like, I popped him, I walked over, and then they were already spawned. That was pretty quick. One, two, three. Slime dupes. So first Mill Lily, unfortunately it's on green ID, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we're gonna start moving forward. If I really need to, I can telepipe again. And go back for the charge ray gun. Is it worth doing? Play probably. I'll give them a minute. Put away the gold badge so I can pick it up. I think that'll make sense. Okay, then I'll take my own warp back. Should be good. Yeah, that all works. <laughs> I am not invincible, so I should probably hug the side of the raft if I can reach it. Special, and you are dead. He's so lucky that hit interrupted me. Unknown person has found anniversary platinum badge. Are you allowed to have a blank name? That was interesting. Only right, nice. So we're gonna leave a happy little confused trap down so we get free kills. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill the Sinnoh Red. Okay, since I have a handgun now, I could do this. Otherwise, I don't bother. I'd rather tank the hit. I need to find a better strat walking into this room to eliminate RNG. That's decent, I guess. Alright, so somebody's going in before me. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some free kills. So no matter what, we're gonna be in time for the feet of the thing to appear. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Uh, not gonna appear. Awkward. Well, kill them then. Normally, if you wait until the graphic appears... Oh, 
See, now it's gonna get shot randomly. That sucks. If you wait until their graphic appears... You don't ever have to shoot the Breeze Trap. I think that's my favorite thing that I've tried to do. Yeah, let's get some free kills in here. I'm good, I'm good. <clears throat> let's do a little Freeze Trap here. Kind of like, if we place it preemptively, we don't have to waste our time shooting it. I guess the best way of framing it. Probably should not have been the one to go over here, but that's fine. We call that hindsight. Get some free kills as I make progress. The only thing I need to make sure is that I equip my Vulcan sorts of Vulcan always at the top. And I'm good to go. Yes, only normals for Spread Needle, that is correct. So what else? Did we learn any other texts? I guess I could go for the fast strat on the Sorcerer, just because they like showing it off. I'll do this here in case he gets away. My tip would be if you're ever player one, if you hold, uh, if you're using a controller and you hold upright, you need to make like only the very slightest of adjustments to make sure that you hit afterwards. I'm gonna do this to slow it down for you. Okay. There we go. I swear if this boss targets me again, chat, I'm gonna get so tilted. <laughs> I didn't make the game this time. Please stop targeting me. Thank you. Good. Heal, heal is what I want to see. What was it, chat? I think, I think it was like 16 times in a row it went for cage. And or uh, the targeted missile drop. So annoying. Uh, so we're gonna go for, I guess, a normal clear. I'm guessing this is normal strat. So you put a free strap here, you walk in the corner, they should be- oh. That actually misaligned me. That's unfortunate. So if a player steps between you and the target, he will no longer move forward, which throws off this technique. Oh well. Um... Can't do the fast strat. I wasn't in the first- I wasn't first in the room. So sad. I can almost kill him. So downside, if you're second in the room, that little squeeze doesn't work because you need like every second of that squeeze to get through. We'll go for it again if I'm first in the room on the next one. I have never seen it work if you're second because it, it is such a tight cycle. Unless you're like literally on top of the other person. I don't think it works. leave a freeze trap here. Another little happy freeze trap here. Let's say I got my Psycho Wanda attempts. Yeah, that's good enough. I mean, at least I'm getting to the point in the run where if I see an enemy swing at me, I'm not, like, in panic mode. I'm just like, no, I know it's not gonna hit me. That, that feels good. See, our, our own little personal minigame is every time we come here, never get hit by a spinner. We gotta, pra oops, we gotta practice for when we do, uh, more Dark Blow stuff, which I will definitely do as soon as we get Red Ring. Equip. I can afford to be a little more risky if I see if I have invincibility. Like, I could do that. I would not normally do that if I wasn't... As long as we identify the big gaps, it's kind of hard. It becomes a little tricky when there's multiple players near you. Just find your little gap, take some shots. Aw, oh, we failed the minigame. Like here, I'm given free roam, so I could do basically anything for a little bit. 
Paul's tricks, so we stop targeting. Okay, so I think we're just in prep for the final area. Generally speaking, I never count it out. I just know that if it's two full clears, it's usually two kills on the third one that goes through. So I've never bothered counting, but that's just how it works. So I know that if there's only two left, I can afford to weapon swap. Just like I could probably swap over to LNK here. Since I want to be able to target the boss at a distance. Although, arguably, I could have waited one more attack before swapping. Yeah, because then I could get this kind of damage, which is more important on this boss phase. To shorten this phase up. I don't care if the other phase takes longer. This one taking longer is a nightmare. Oh, boss is actually dead. Oh, no, it misaligned me. Unfortunate. So sad. Trolled by spinner. I think my character looked at the spinner as it went by once I stood up. Unfortunate. Anyway, we're gonna go for a normal, normal special here. Make sure we get all three hits. Emphasis on the special attack. Don't shoot too early. Could have been a little better. No Zalore, though. There we go. Chip him out. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Okay, there's a strong possibility I can combo kill. Whoever is soul linked, I'm so sorry. You're probably going to die. I left it at one. <laughs> I actually could have chose not to do... I, I didn't actually get the kill there. I missed by one health chat. See, this is why we need to level. Then we, then we don't miss by one. Rip. One day chat. We'll get that nice level up. It's coming soon. I mean, how often do you miss a boss by one health? That That's a very rare occurrence. Like, especially in multiplayer, you're not, like, trying to do it on purpose. Holy, just one HP. So anyway, to no one's surprise, there are no items of interest that have dropped. So let's go ahead and pick up the Masetta, and we'll try again. Only this time I don't need to go backwards for items. So the timer should be improved next run automatically. So what would I do differently with him? Um, kind of nothing. I do want to go for the Ruin Fast Strat. If I go first in that room, it saves anywhere between a second to like eight seconds, depending on how long the Sorcerer takes. Because in theory, without needing to wait, I could just immediately freeze trap and combo kill the sorcerer before it can even teleport. But it requires you going first, which is a bit sad. So if I'm even just a step behind, I can't go for it. I did try to just do a backup and shoot him to kill him, but I saw that even with that, it wasn't fast enough. I, I did about 2,000 damage, but that's not enough. So if I was playing, for example, on very hard leveling people, that absolutely still would have worked. But on ultimate, it's stricter. I'm gonna level by the Okay. Guess I can leave LNK equipped at first. Since I should just be able to power attack, and as long as somebody lands any blow, that should kill by itself. Forest, we're still gonna confuse everything in the opening room. Caves. Caves, I got surprised I had to kill the rare Lily, but fortunately, you cast damage is so absurd that we should be fine. Oh, Marco needs to step away for two minutes. Sure thing.
Let's take a quick look while we're waiting at the points. What is close? What is not close? There are officially more points in Atrocity 2 than Seabed. That's unexpected. Yeah, there's a very strong chance when we come back from Pick, we will probably go push it up to the 8,000 points. So, overall, in the past couple of sessions, we added a lot to CCA, we added to Mines, <laughs> we added to some of the other ones that don't matter. But, yeah. I think our group was pretty solid at Atrocity 2. It's, it's okay. I, I, I do think the big issue with it is more... I don't think there were any, like, problem spawns with it. Like, I do think there are some pretty unfun quests that exist in, like, standard PSO play. I don't think it really had that issue with Atrocity 2. It was more like... It... Without having, like, a defined ID, it was... Or at least from the meta standpoint, there's not really a defined ID. It's hard to say, like, we're gonna get value over the other anniversary quests. Where, like, something like December Disaster, because it was more limited in scope to the episode, you could just play the generally good Episode 2 kind of characters and do reasonably well. You know what I mean? So, it's just kind of unfortunate. I think if that quest had been in, like, I don't know about 1, we haven't played that enough, but I think if 2 had been in outside of this event, I think it would have been played a lot more. It's just that it's kind of hard to compete when, like, of the area quests, almost every single one of them is a top three. Like, just legitimately, like, there's just, this is the best quest you could do for Seabed. This is the best quest you could do for, in some regards, CCA or, like, Forest or other things. Like, sure, there'll still always be the classic Terrell's Ego, of course, but... It is kind of unfortunate that so many of those other quests is just better to do the event quest, which in some ways is good and encourages you to play it, but in other ways it's a little sad. Is that an 80 dark Rina? Why? Just <laughs> genuine question chat, why? I'm not picking it up. If that had been 80 hit, I would have picked it up. I would have actually tried using it, but no. So we got a faster gun for slime duping. One, two, three. Oh, team killed my slime. Rip. Alright, so now are you gonna let me freeze trap? See, that time, that timing was as expected. Not sure what was different about the other one. Weird. Bonk. I thought it dropped a silver badge, and I'm like, but I don't see it. And I'm like, oh, right. People are in other rooms right now. Uh, this is where we take a safety die, mate, because I totally expect to die here. No? Okay. <laughs> see, that's the room I need assistance on. If I'm coming through with 20 health, I was, I'm like, if they shoot the homing laser, it's probably GG. Just straight up GG if that happens. I figure if you're just waiting for the next room anyway during an event, you might as well as kill the nano dragons. Uh oh, one of the slimes is kind of far from me. Uh, I've still got the dupe though. A couple more traps, I'll start walking them forward. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> and I'm the first here. Nice. Yeah, that 80 dark Rina was something else. Oh, music. Right, John? Just like, yeah, if you're spending 30,000 on a Jaya, the boss is not living. I don't care what it allegedly has. Nice level up. Oops, I confused myself. Multiple Holy Rays found. Congratulations, team. 
that's one every run so far. I'm gonna protect Hellcleave there. Nice level up for Hellcleave. So I did get one more accuracy. I think we were talking before. I can oh I think I can replace my Heavenly Arms now with the Centurion to get the same amount of uh accuracy because I'm so close to Cap. But sadly I did not get a spare Centurion. One would have thought with the five conjures the other day that the Centurion would have dropped, but nope. Direct. I probably could have stayed in that room and killed another Cannabin. That was a small mistake on my behalf. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna look for the visual. So now the visual's there. He's gonna fall, and I'm just gonna kill him before he can hit me. It's so satisfying. Love not being having to shoot those. Oh. I'm gonna froze them in an awkward spot. Fine. Okay, this time I'm not gonna go for the switch. I'm definitely suited for DPS here. that damage for sloppy play. I need to memorize where the colors are in this boss room. I'm so used to being player one here. I am the opposite side, okay. One day, chat. I'll remember. See, if you say, like, player two is there, then it's like, whatever. I could kind of follow. But with the colors, I don't remember with the colors who is who. But when I see this room, I know what to do, which is slow it down for the team. There we go. Let's slow it a little more with some twin blaze in case he wants to skip some monitors. We do have 1559 ATP. It's very high. There we go. It's pretty fast. Yeah, we have seen him glitch teleport. Where he just skips monitors arbitrarily. Also, I wonder if they're ever going to fix his flickering. It's been flickering for a couple of years now, but it didn't used to do that. If you look back at our videos from like 2021, I want to say, it used to not do that. All right, that time I'm in the perfect position. All right, are we gonna go for the? Let's go for the fast one. Let's see if this works. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna weave sideways. We're gonna go in between. Okay, we got it. First part done. There we go. And that's the fast clear. So, one thing is that he will he will look at other players. In single player, it's much easier because he's gonna face you. But in multiplayer, he's looking at the ranger most of the time, which is very annoying, as you can imagine. So trying to hit him through the crystal, I think is a little hard for most classes to also combo kill. Because that's a lot of damage you have to force through. And generally a charge arm won't be fast enough there. So it's like just purely can you Vulcan him. But uh, fortunately, Hucast doesn't really care about that. Yeah, see how, he, see how he's looking at the ranger? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Single player, he'll look at you. That makes that shot much easier. His ranger hate is real. Okay. Time to play the mini game again. Oh. I don't think we need to kill the Deldies. We should be good. I mean, unless team is really desperate for, what is it, Monkey King bar? I mean, that's fair. I just need to know. We'll do one more. F just, I think I got time. I love how I touched the altar. Oh, you got stuck. 
Rip. That's also fair. Yeah, like, I'm more inclined to kill them. I think it's Red ID gets Spread Needle, right? I think so. But, like, I'm more inclined to kill them on Red ID. Just because, like, I do eventually want another Spread Needle. Even an all zeroed one is pretty useful to give to new players. Shots are kind of bad. We, 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 we can't exchange just not shooting things just to not get hit. That's not worth it. Gotta at least advance the game state a little bit. Right, so we know it's gonna be done soon, so might as well equip this. Or I could do Vulcans, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, if I happen to get wedged behind the boss, it's not a big deal. Then I could just equip charge Vulcan and end from there. Yeah, I can see I'm definitely in the damage. <laughs> like, every time I do that charge Vulcan, I just see like 3600 health go away. I'm like, you cast bring in the damage. So for unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to swap, so it's only going to be one normal attack here, I think. Oops. So I think, unless it stays still, it's better for me to do this. Almost got something out. Go to the sides, we're away from other people. At max distance. Um... I'll walk around during the cutscene disrespectfully. Maybe I'll pretend to die. There we go, I'll pretend to die. <laughs> so because I have this gun out instead of Vulcan, my potential damage is going to be lower, but I'm going to get consistent double normals here. Ooh, this is good. Unless he stays here. He moved at the last second. Brutal. Ooh, double short cycle. That's unlucky. He'll come down, become targetable, then he should just die to me. Goodbye. So at least we don't have to worry about Soul Link. Yeah, we'll do one more. Still kind of early for me to do dinner. I don't want to get it started yet. We shaved off about 40 seconds on that run. That was with the... Uh, mediocre falls. We got trolled a little bit. Gel in 30. Hmm. I mean, I guess the most interesting thing I've seen in the run so far has been the read off. Otherwise, ultra dry run. Like, sandpaper dry. <laughs> it's just not even badges, just nothing. Kind of brutal. There we go. And away we go. Okay, I'll put it this way. If this next run is under 1330, I will do another one after this. I will have a hard stop around 6, though. I think that should be enough time. Even if we take a minute or two in between, it should be fine. I'm just thinking about, like, in terms of food timing. I don't want to go out, like, literally right this minute, since it would be... Heavy traffic. There we go.
untargetable. Worst. We'll leave the confuse trap down. We'll leave another confuse trap down. Even without Zalor, we should still get free kills. Anyway, <laughs> hold on, I gotta go back. Hold on. Fine, go back for the silver badge. I'm apparently being rewarded for doing unnecessary kills. Take that as you will, I suppose. On the plus side, my health isn't low, so I can survive Nano Dragon. Another 100 ATP. Even if it just added like 20 damage a shot, it would be so big for me. Oh, I didn't get the glitch. I guess I'll try slightly with Charge Vulcan. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna look at myself where I am now. I think this is the right direction. So I think I can look at my how I'm walking and then redirect. So this might be it. That's pretty close, that's pretty close. I could skip some time there, because I so rarely get anything from the boxes. You can see the mists is in the upper left. Nothing is red or mean of interest. So I can skip at least five or six seconds in the run by doing that, so... Time save. It's not perfect, I gotta fine-tune how to walk. That slime is in a very unfortunate spot. I need it to move. That should work. Pick up the bronze patch later. One, two, three, freeze trap. See, that was too early. Oops. That time I got scared, because I can't get meleeed and killed by that. Okay, I think Jack killed the Nano Dragons. Nice. Get those free kills. <laughs> Get those badges. And then we're gonna go back through here. I should still put God Arm. Nice. One, two, three. It's Dupe O'Clock. Ash in that fire trap. So the next door opened up. I'm just going to leave some fire traps down. That way I'm making some progress towards the door. So I lost a couple of seconds, but I did speed up the run by five and a half. So I guess it balances out. I'll have to warp up and everything. And again, that's just free experience for everybody trying to level. Like if, if, if I didn't whiff the lilies, I don't think it would have been a time loss at all, but I had to do another combo since I was worried I was going to berserk and get hit by the Lily, so I stopped my combo short. So, you know, those judgment calls, them having to come revive me is a huge waste of time, so I took the smaller waste of time by just not attacking. Okay. Special. One, two, boss is dead. Ew. What hit percentage is that Jaya? Uh, I'll check in a moment. I'll get a good opportunity right after this. 45. Yeah, see, Confused is just netting me free kills. Just easy badge checks. Uh, I'm just not gonna shoot it. I'll be real with you. Okay, so this room I can st apparently I can still 
Yes, it, it spends 10k regardless of what you hit. So it's not 10k per creature, it's 10k per swing. So it behaves differently than charge does. So I do not want to be the first person in the room, because I have to kill the Red Sinnoh anyway. So I might as well just kill Beast. I gave four additional chances of the team potentially getting something interesting. And if not, even if this thing is spawning right now, I do so much damage, it doesn't matter. Goodbye. This trap is not what I wanted. Actually wanted the confused trap there, that's unfortunate. I was like, don't worry, don't worry, team. I can combo kill that, trust me. You cast is gonna wombo combo that. You can kill the other things if you want. Guess I'll equip Ray Gun in case I'm lined up. Um green player. Green player is where? Oh, same spot again. Whatever. I could still try to slow it down initially, so player one will hold upright. I'm gonna hold down right, I think. Up left, up left. Yeah. There we go. What I can do to assist is I can put some fireballs in between. There we go. Yeah, I figure if nothing else, if it decides to glitch, we can at least stop it. And then my ATP is so high and it's a machine twin blaze, it should just delete this enemy. Wait, I genuinely got confused where the warp was. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what's your me right? I was like, oh, I'll sit and die yet. Pause trick, do a little freeze, do this, walk in the corner, get a line, there's no guessing, nice heal, we're gonna go freeze trap into a little trick, nice, got the kill, pop the boxes since I'm here, It's all something else was spawning, so I might as well confuse trap them as I move on. Potentially reduce the number that they have to fight. But in theory, just go straight to the exit and telepipe. If I really wanted to save more time in the run, I could do that. <laughs> in theory. I'm not going to do that, though. Uh, let's do something like this. The enemy behind me got stunned. I was wondering where he was. That's fine. I'm like, he'll he'll trigger the trap behind me and I'll be safe. And I went, oh wait. Here we go, nice little heal. <laughs> oh, he's just trying to heal me as I run. <laughs> like, no, not the healing. Line up here. Our next two shots here, because pattern is not random. So the only thing that is kind of random is just. I don't even think the ones that heat seek are random. It's just how other players move. If other players, if other players, I think do the same exact motions. I don't think there's any RNG in this. Maybe, maybe in the ones that change directions, there's RNG, but like. The initial starting state, I don't think there's any RNG. Like, the, the spinners are always going to be targetable in the same spots every single time. And it's more like, if you pull something as another player in a direction, they'll be in a different spot. So it might be confusing as to which one to target. I'm sorry, did my normal... 
my normal miss? I swear it had the cursor there. Oh well. Not a big deal. Now that's exactly how I wanted to switch, where it's got like just a tiny bit of health left, I just poke it with the LNK, and I hold up left. Get rid of those. Sounds like gambling to me, says Tiggy. Oh, you're actually dead. GG. Found a hit Heaven Striker. Oof. Call that salt in the wound. Okay. I'm gonna hold forward. We're gonna do three attacks. We're gonna hope they all land. One, two, three. Got some hits. But again, I'm not guaranteed to land my special yet. Need a better weapon, I think, for that. Got a couple hits in there. Oh, boss is actually dead. Cool. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you went into melee range of the Hue cast? GG. There we go, that was much faster. So one more chat, and then I'm taking my break. At least we could say we tried red rings. We did tower. We did episode four. Yes. <laughs> well, let. <laughs> Alleged we, we, allegedly, we went faster, but apparently we took 9 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. I got wrecked. Oh, uh, well, damn chat, we, we took 479,000 hours again. Oh, hey, we got S rank. Good job, team. Sure, I'll get the item that I can't use. Come on, she can keep the skip doll. Okay. Also, I didn't see Tiki redeem the bonus stream streak. Nice. So this is going to put us extremely close to 180. All we need to do is just hit the right level, and we got a red ring already waiting for us. But ideally, we'll get one for... You know what? We'll say we're going for the Hugh Mars Red Ring. How's that, chat? There's technically two characters that still need a Red Ring out of our 20-something. The other forces I don't care. Like Phone Newman having Red Ring, I don't care about. I don't really want to play Force in a in any place where I need accuracy. Like, no thanks. I'll just believe. Ooh. They're kind of splitting their damage. I don't think we're gonna get many kills at the bottom. We got only two kills instead of three. Unfortunate. So it's pretty likely that I'm within six TTF clears, I think, of leveling. And obviously, if we do num new mop-up operation three, that also puts us pretty close. It's 
so based off of what the stats look like when we get back, we're gonna help the anniversary event out again. I think it's been a good mix where we kind of do, like, one session that's kind of greedy, and then one where we just kind of help out. But in this session, we had a mix of both, but we'll probably have a mix of both later in the evening. Just because I am curious about what the 8,000 happens to be. Also, I forgot to pull forward. Oops. Too slow. All power material. I might have gone back for that. I don't really need my materials. So, so far, zero Dwarf on Eclairs. We've seen, like, six or so Conjure total. Two, three. Put the Fire Trap over here. Hopefully this is good enough. We're gonna kill him with this. Go back to our Disco Grave Man. Put the Trap down. Too early. Oh, it was almost frame perfect, actually. Never mind. It felt too early, but it wasn't. Alright, chat's helping with Nano Dragon. That's huge. There's a strong possibility I don't die. That's always nice. Yep, and then they can clean this thing up, because this is a waiting game area anyway. There we go. We're optimizing our kills, we're splitting the duties. I slowly pull them towards the other door. Little micro steps. I'm gonna go back with the power material. Almost save time. Helkly basically bopping me in the head. He's like, heal, damn you, heal. Got the invincibility, so I'm just gonna wait it out. Three, one, two, dead. Now, let's see if we actually got anything of interest this time. Take the money though. Takes the edge off the Jaya. Oh, they shot the other confused trap. That's unfortunate. I guess if I just walk dead center and then pause trick, maybe hit in front. They don't. With that, I'm gonna waste some time here. Bonds badge, I'll pick that up. swing too many. My bad. I'm gonna go ahead and confuse these, because I don't really want them frozen in the doorway. Basically two TTFs of our 179, but then after that, not too far away from leveling again. Be kind of nice.
There we go. Goodbye, boss. Being targeted. That's a new strat I haven't seen. I like using Twin Blaze. Twin Blaze is really, really solid at popping it. I usually do, in a solo strat, a mix of... Usually red handgun. I tried doing drill launcher, but I honestly just didn't like the drill launcher for solo play. But double twin blaze, if you have nothing but cast in your party, is hilarious. Like, we, we have legit just done lockdown with twin blaze, or double twin blaze, I mean. Oh, I did the attack wrong. Player fail. If that had been a special, that would have killed. Oh, well. So yeah, we'd like doing a little fast strats in that room, but unfortunately I hit light attack for some reason at the end instead of power. Full badge, nice. I do like that he can combo kill without any debuffs here. To relief after playing other characters. I'm gonna put the freeze trap down. I'm gonna put another freeze trap down here. This should work. And I know that won't hit me because I've done that attack so many times on that specific sorcerer. There is no fear at all about that hitting me. But yeah, I like Twin Blaze. Uh, we <laughs> we at one point did like an all cast clear, sort of as a joke. We were just curious to how strong our characters were. Is that a monolith? As indeed a monolith, and we were just all spamming Twin Blaze because the thing with the Gafoe is that it uses it still uses your attack power from the Hue cast. So having like a high machine uh, Twin Blaze is really really funny does so much damage to the boss and it can help because some characters especially as they're leveling just don't do enough damage like for example rocket seal at like anything other than max usually really struggles to get a three monitor clear so if you happen to do like 30 damage to it with twin blaze it doesn't really matter because the thing has so much health and so little damage is being dealt so sometimes players can even avoid doing the full triple chain. They could just do like one pause, one pause, and hoping to alternate it between that and Twin Blaze. Like there's definitely ways you can optimize the Twin Blaze uses, especially if you're on like headset with people. It's a little harder to convey that unless you're like literally in a Discord. But being able to output tons and tons and tons of Twin Blaze, which will always have higher ATP than the equivalency of like a spread needle is kind of nice. And in single player play, it moves so slow, you, you, I think you can get away with only twin blazing. Even on like a double monitor, although it requires you to be a decent level, of course. Lately too slow. Yeah, I'm gonna go hard to the left here, because even if it targets another player, it doesn't really matter. I should be able to dodge. Uh, 50-50, it might target me. Nope. So it's good to stay along the right here. Not very likely to hit me. I'm gonna cross over. I don't think I ever bother with defense for her remote battery to answer that question. She is so much high base innate defense that I only play offense with her. I, I haven't run defense on her since, like, level 110 or something. She is legit kind of unkillable. Alright, we're getting a pretty unlucky pattern here, I'm not gonna lie. Where is the part where it stays still? Uh, I'm gonna back up, because I think I'm gonna take damage. Him, please. 
What is going on? Please do something else. <laughs> I can't get my attack in. There we go. Yeah, I would only put D parts on her, so it adds, if I remember offhand, 35 attack power. But remember that armor and shield ATP is influenced by your weapon attribute bonus. So if you have 100 dark, you're effectively adding 70 ATP to your character, as an example. Also, I thought I'd Vulcan for some reason. I should still get every hit here, but that's fine. Well, this should be big damage. Big damage, nice. So close. Out of here. Yeah, like literally, she's my the one that I use when she got to 180, she used Red Ring. But even before that, yeah, she's using D parts since about 130 or so. Just because being able to pump up her ATP just helps her combo kill so much easier. So if you have a really wide damage range on something like Spread Needle, at least you're more likely than not to get the kill. Because I definitely found it very annoying with her, where I would go to charge Vulcan something and she would just not kill it by like 15. And I'm like, seriously? So, I don't usually bother defense. Although, I will say, if you were playing like specifically something like Endless Episode 1, I would probably just play the Blackhound Carace. <laughs> In a run where taking no damage actually matters, I would probably wear that because it's funny. So if you play multiplayer with that, like a Fomaro plus that, uh, I don't think any enemy can hurt you in the game in Ultimate in Episode 1 when you have that combo because her defense is just so high. Uh, the moment you gel in an enemy, she can really only get hit by set damage just due to how high her base defense is. Like other people are like, they're happy to be at 500. She's like 600 plus. She's like high 600s. So she's pretty much always wearing more tanky items than other characters. So it can be funny for the no damage challenge, watching them literally do nothing. I think if in theory you were to wear Red Ring plus Black Hound, I think Forest can't injure you. I got something for your humor. Oh no. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> like, what, what do you possibly have for my humor? He, need, he needs so much, but he has so little. I should probably put these badges away. I will leave an open slot game if you are trying to give me something. I'm assuming it's a technique. Let's put this away. Let's do a quick check of how we're doing badge-wise. I want to leave these in here so I don't have to replace something. I'm just curious, this week, before we go into Sunday, how much did I receive? So we cleaned out our PDs. So I picked up, I think, 65 PDs this week. Welcome, Tycoon. I'm about to go on break. Photon crystals I didn't put away. Those don't count. And we, we're now at 33 of everything. Wow. That is a crazy week. Oh, it's a gelin. I had a feeling it was a technique. Sadly, I can't hold it. I guess I could drop a mind material briefly. I saw the game lag on me. <laughs> I actually saw me hover it, press it, and then it picked up the other one. Getting trolled. But anyway. Uh, wow. 33 gold, so that should put me at... 85 total gold, I think? That's pretty good. Been lurking, but it's locked into the grind, yeah. We're going to probably resume later today. But I guess we could talk about how we feel the runs went overall. Well, surprisingly, during the event, nobody has pushed it to 8,000 points across the board. So there is a very strong possibility we would be playing Tower and or Seabed when we return. Uh, just because those are the only ones that are sub-8,000 at this point. You gave up. 
We pushed it earlier. I don't mind doing a four man. I just don't want to do a four man for like a hundred points. I'll push it for 30. I don't care about that. Or like 20 or whatever. So we'll be pushing it when we get back, I think. I actually don't mind Seabed. Like, I honestly, to me, I would rather Seabed than Tower, but there's just not... There's just not anything I'm really looking for, unless it's like specifically... Trolly Heaven Striker Seabed, or just Blue ID Cycle Wand. Yeah. So... You know, I don't mind doing some of these runs. We help boost mines up to 10,000. We did August Atrocity literally yesterday for quite a few runs. I don't mind doing some, but I'm kind of with Techium. I'm kind of like other people have to commit. Like, I I'm willing to put work into it. We saw at one point we were one of, I think, two teams running tower. So it would not be surprising if somebody that was watching the stream was that one other team because we were seeing it only go up in intervals of about um, eight, I think. So this is going real slow. So we haven't really touched much of Forest in this particular event. You run Seabed, I'm like 3k Del Beater. I actually like the Seabed quest. I think I'm with Hoopweed on that one. It, I believe both the CCA and Seabed are based off of Hoopweed's favorite quest. But I do actually like Seabed. It's just, I'm not really looking for anything there. I'm looking for just like the generally good items because I just don't have those items yet. Like a Cannon Rouge with hit or, like, a Cannon Rouge with, like, 40A Beast. Like, I'm not even talking, like, crazy things. Like, I'm miss- I'm- I basically am wielding all zeros on a majority of the characters, so I'd like it to be just a little better. Seabed pumps are a nightmare. Hmm. So it's like, for me, I don't know. I feel like I can run it. I feel like I directed Tower pretty well. So I don't mind hosting Tower and stuff like that. This is why I do my set quest. If people want more boosts, they'll help. Yeah. I like doing a uh, CCA with Hell Cleave. That was fun. So, like, I'm not afraid of it. I don't think I run it, like, the best. I'm definitely not going to claim that. But at least, you know, I had a general sense of where the Del Beaters were. And, and vaguely where I needed to stand in most of the areas. So at least then, you know, I could do my Twin Blaze to stop them and, you know, I'll have my Hell Handgun or whatever to deal with uh, Morphos. So at least there's effort. <laughs> I'm not going in with, like, just literally nothing. But looking at the Blue ID Seabed, I think, you know, there's some chances at Donba and Yunchang, but I've literally not gotten any of them to drop in any of our attempts. Obviously the Pipe Dream is Psycho Wand. But honestly, I still have my biggest question. Why is the blue ID drop rate for Psycho Wand different than the orange and Viridian IDs for similar items? I would love if somebody could explain that. Why why did blue ID get the buff? Why why is Viridian 131072 for the drop rate, but it's 12603 for Psycho Wand, and then Heaven Punisher for Orange is 131072? I don't know. This, would it would it really make a difference to just make them one number? That has always bothered me, chat, because it's like I don't ever want to do like. Are they scared Viridian runs will outpace Blue? Like, is that what the thought process is? I don't know. This Viridian is every, something good for every episode in like seven out of ten stages. Uh, I would say episode 2 is definitely their weakest. Like, definitely their temple, just because they have Frozen Shooter automatically gets elevated a little bit, but... Yeah. We're not exactly looking to run, like, Tower there. They have a decent seabed. I would never run the CCA there. I mean, I guess it's nice that they get uh, LNK Combat from Barbara Ray. That That is a standout drop, I guess. But everything else, nah. But anyway, chat. We'll be returning uh, after some food break. The 
Viridia CCA is Parasol, but why would you want to hunt that? <laughs> if it was Tyrell's Parasol, I would totally get it. Do people really want Madam's Parasol that badly? It's like ultra rare, but bad. <laughs> just, it, it's one of those items where I'm just kind of like, eh. Is it all three? Oh, they get it from Miracle. Oh, that's fair. They get it in Miracle. That's that's decent, I guess. I thought you were... See, when I looked originally, I thought I was looking at Gibbles, because I was thinking of Gibbles with pink ID. But I was like, oh, right. That's right, Miracle. All right, so they get one drop. <laughs> it's ECA. We really want the Parasols. Yeah, I agree with Hellcleave. I would rather run yellow or pink for sure. Uh, but from that standpoint, uh, we're gonna say goodbye. So we'll be returning in about an hour and a half from the end of the stream. And we'll be resuming with probably some runs to push the event bonus to 8,000. We're gonna give people an opportunity to play it, since we did actually play quite a bit of tower. So I'm not gonna say that we didn't push towards the total, because we did. We played quite a bit of tower in the beginning of the stream. Uh, but I think from that standpoint, let's take a break and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, just like to say thank you again for watching and hope to see you again next time.